Live after hours on a Sunday night, Father Saunders. Welcome to another edition. I haven't done that in a fucking long time. Welcome to another edition of After Hours with Father. Welcome. Uh, yes, yes, I am a weirdo, Mr. True Blood. You eat a dick. Don't even start. We haven't even started the stream yet, chat. Give it five minutes. Let me warm up before you fucking roast my ass. <laughs> uh, what the fuck was I talking about? Oh, I had such a fucking good weekend, guys. Seriously, this weekend was was at. I had so much fucking fun. So much fun. For you guys that don't know, uh, I had my uh, my son this weekend. My youngest son, who's ten. Came over for four hours on Friday, then called me at nine in the morning on Saturday. Said, "Dad, Dad, I want to come back over." And I'm, I was, I did, okay. Uh, give me thirty minutes. I got a shower. <laughs> it was awesome. Then he stayed here for eight hours. We all hung out together. You know, we played football, played some games. Uh, I uh, I was teaching my son how to uh, uh, cook. I had him help me scramble the eggs, cook the eggs, peel the potatoes, which is Brandon's job uh, because he's fucking Navy. So Brandon should have been here peeling the fucking potatoes because he's an expert at that shit. <laughs> and, uh, uh, you know, it, it was just, it was a great fucking uh, weekend. Uh, I had a great time streaming with you guys. Unfortunately, I had to uh, delete my uh, last stream. I won't get into the specifics. Those of you guys that were there were there, you know, uh, everything's good. 
I've talked with uh, the parties involved. Um, it sucks because it was such a good fucking stream. From what I remember, don't trust my memory chat. You know that. But from what I remember, I had a damn good time. I even let my son stay up till like four in the morning. Son Saunders was here. And I uh, appreciate you guys uh, accepting him and uh, being okay with them uh, being here. That's a maturity call on my part as his father. Uh, I believe he can handle it. And uh, I'm glad you guys are accepting of him. Uh, because if you weren't, chat, uh, I, I wouldn't allow him to be in here. If, if for some reason one of you guys weren't comfortable or something, they're like, hey, dude, I don't think he should be hearing this or whatever, uh, I would uh, not have him on here. But that's my call as a father. Uh, I believe he's mature enough. And he even asked permission to cuss last night. I remember that. It's like, Dad, do I have your permission to say a cuss word or something like that? And he's like, uh, something, something, eat a bag of dicks. <laughs> I'm so proud of my damn son having the respect to still ask uh, things like that. God dang it. I'm very proud of that kid. Very proud. I'm a proud fucking dad. All right. Just give me the chance to be a dad. That's what I'm talking about. When it's quality over quantity, guys, that's the most hours I've had with my youngest son in one weekend in four fucking years. Four years. That's the longest I've ever had. Him. So, uh, Okay, what can you do with the time you have? That's the only thing that I fucking have any control over. And I know it's hard. It's fucking heart-wrenching. It's soul-crushing. Uh, there's people out here. Some of them are on this uh, chat right now who went decades without talking to or seeing their uh, uh, children. I don't want to know what that feels like. I can tell you guys what, uh, you know, three, four years is. There's people out there three times. I can't imagine. I can't imagine. I'm a good dad and an awesome athletic supporter. So you guys, uh, you guys, damn it, you guys that don't know, thank you for the compliment. I also have to ask if you're okay because if Chad ever says anything good about me, uh, something's probably wrong. Uh, I I never knew. And, and True Blood said he was fucking fucking trolling me for three months on this shit. You're an awesome athletic supporter. Dude, it flew over my head, Chad. It flew completely over my fucking head. I'm like, yeah, yeah, I support uh, athletics. And I looked it up because I talked with Brandon. I'm like, that shit's still over my head. I don't know what the hell you're talking about. He's like, just Google image it. I looked it up. It's a fucking jock strap. What? I've never heard a jock strap be called a fucking athletic supporter. So Brandon... Gave me a bunch of shit about supporting balls and whatnot, and I, I had no fucking clue. I had no fucking clue. I've never heard a jock strap be called anything other than a fucking jock strap. So when I was talking to Brandon, I was like, did, did they have to diversify the fucking like, did did a jock strap offend somebody? Did they have to change the fucking nomenclature of the name? What the fuck? Uh, I had no clue. I had no fucking clue. I was I never knew it was called an athletic support. <laughs> Uh, I know Beavis and Butthead, but I also know my memory, and uh, it is uh, sketchy at best. Damn it, Saunders show us PP. I'll stream again. Had to take a stream down. For you guys that don't know, Frost actually had to take one of his streams down. I guess I said some fucking crazy shit, crazier than what you guys normally know. Uh, but he had me convinced that it wasn't what I said. It's because I showed my dick on one of his streams, and he fucking had me convinced. Dude, my heart sank. Like, uh, I lost my breath. I'm like, oh, please, God, no. Tell me I didn't do that. I mean, he had me going for like, I don't know how long it was, but he had me going long enough. I'm like, dude, I am so, I am so fucking sorry, dude. I feel so ashamed for like five, ten minutes. And he's like, no, no, man, I'm fucking with you. You didn't show your dick. Oh, you son of a bitch. You son of a bitch. Hemi, good to see you. Post Nut Clarity, Paul, Frost, Brandon. JR, good to see you. Beat the chair. Uh, the chair will be revealed when, when I deem it so. Okay. I'm the prize, not the fucking chair chat. <laughs> uh, who else we got in here? Who else we got? Rasputin. You said you were going to stop by uh, earlier. I remember reading your comment. Thank you for stopping by. Appreciate it. Uh, that was a comment that I left on uh, 
uh, Hammerhands Rumble Chat. So good to see you. Thank you for uh, showing up, brother. I hope you have a good time. Uh, make sure I got everybody here. Uh, ta -ta -ta. Skeleton, if you're here, still here, good to see you. I think that's uh, Super Turbo. You're super fucking gay. That's what the fuck you are. You're, you're one of the kings of trolling my ass. Okay. Rebel against the feet. How you doing, sir? Rebel, rebel against the feet. Red. All right. Uh, I know I said I wasn't going to do this, guys, but uh, it's red. So I'm going to make an exception. Uh, no, I don't want that. God dang it. I got to figure out how the fuck. It's been so goddamn long since I did this shit. Red, uh, I'm going to make you a mod. I know I wasn't going to add any more mods, chat. Uh, so you can give me shit for that. But uh, Rad was a uh, uh, Rad. Uh, rad was a Rad. Rad, you were a Rad. Did you know that? Rad, <laughs> rad was a fucking wrench, I think, on his first channel. Uh, so I'm going to uh, add you as a moderator. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you're a moderator. <clears throat> I forgot how to for a second, Post Nut. I, I figured it out. Uh, Post Nut, Paul, all you guys. Uh, I, got, I know you guys know this. Um, I don't uh, add mods because my channel is just not big enough. I think I have 21 or 22 mods now. Uh, uh, adding Rebel Against Defeat. And I'm a small channel, guys. I think the most people I've ever had live on, uh, on one stream was uh, 28. Correct me if I'm wrong. If it was less or more, I think it was 28, which is awesome. I appreciate y'all. But if I have 20 mods, that's more than enough. Even if half the mods don't even show up, 10 mods can easily fucking mitigate or navigate, uh, you know, 28 in the fucking chat. Okay. So I just, I, I, I don't, uh, I don't add mods just because it just, it, it doesn't fucking call for it. All right. Maybe if I start getting up to, I don't know, 50 which I do not see happening, then I'll think about adding more mods. Uh, but I want you guys to know it's not, you know, because I don't fucking like you or this, that, and the other, whatever the fuck. Uh, Rebel, it's good to see how yeah, I decided to go live on a Sunday. Uh, it is rare that I catch your streams live, Rebel. Sometimes I just, because I don't get notifications. And the notifications I do get, I'm not going to get because I have notifications turned off. Well, at least on Discord. I don't, I don't have the deems. I don't have the bells and the, uh, uh, the whistles, guys. I, I, I couldn't stand that. I was getting that fucking ding or that bell or whatever the fuck, you know, like every one minute. Dude, I cannot stand unnecessary noises. I fucking hate it. If my microwave beeps four times, I get pissed at that shit. So I stop it at one second left because I don't want to fucking hear the fucking beeps. <laughs> uh, I think I got that from my father, too, because... Uh, uh, my father, when he, uh, I think him and uh, my mother really wanted a Jeep uh, back in 2007. So my mother and my father bought a Jeep back in 2007, brand new. And she still has it to this day, by the way. Uh, my father, I, I shit you not, I, I, <laughs> I shit you not, guys. My father said, I am not buying that car. Unless you take that sensor that beeps about the seatbelt being fastened, uh, fastened out. If you take that sensor out, I'll buy this car right here, right now. But I don't want that sensor in my car. I don't need to be reminded to put my seatbelt on. Dude, no shit. So obviously as a uh, car dealership, you, you know, you can't say you did that and you can't really have evidence that you did that because you could be held liable on shit like that. But they actually did that for my dad and my dad bought the fucker right there that day. I thought that was just the fucking most hilarious shit. <laughs> and they did it. Nowadays, they'd probably fucking be like, no, 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 we, we ain't doing nothing. We ain't doing shit. We ain't. Well, nowadays you can't even afford a new car for fuck's sake. The average new car is like what? 36,000 fucking dollars uh, on average. Guys, that's, that, that's fucking insane, guys. That is fucking insane. That's fucking insane. I am so happy. I've got three vehicles. Two of them are older and have tons of miles, but they're, but they're uh, 
dependable. And then I have a 2011. All my vehicles are paid off. Okay, that's all I care about. Can my vehicle get me from A to B and back to A safely? That's all I care about. I don't give a shit what it looks like, but I do wash my cars and I do vacuum them. I do give a shit what I can do to make it look, you know, nice. But uh, I'm the type of guy, guys, I'm going to use shit until it's no longer fucking usable. <laughs> I mean, you guys know this. Look at my laptop. You know, 75% of my screen's fucking gone because my stupid drunk ass one night got so drunk that I fell asleep and I rolled over on the son of a bitch and spooned it, fucked it all up. So now I have a wireless mouse and keyboard and a HDMI cable to my TV so I can see the fucking screen. <laughs> yeah, hyperhidrosis fucking sucks. Thank you. Thank you, True Blood. Uh, my father really was. I love the shit out of my dad. I never once disrespected my dad, ever. Now, did I say shit downstairs like, oh, fuck, you know, fuck this, fuck, yes, yes, I did that. Whatever my dad said, I never once fucking questioned him. I never once argued with him. I, I, whatever dad said was fucking gospel, guys. I fucking, whatever dad said, I didn't argue. I just didn't. No, seriously. Uh, I'm being serious. I'm being serious, James. I'm absolutely serious. I never once bucked up to my father, ever. I never once argued with him, got in his face. I left out of respect. Whether I was right or wrong doesn't matter. That was my dad. And uh, what dad said was fucking gospel. My, uh, my dad was a man of few words. So when he talked, you fucking listened because you hardly got a lot of uh, uh, words out of him. I know it's crazy, right? Because you, you look at me and then you're like, uh, you don't know when to shut the fuck up, Saunders. Uh, well, here's the thing. Good, good point. But let me tell you guys this. If you got my dad comfortable and he had a couple of beers with him and he was comfortable around you, he would talk. He would really talk. And I'd sit there like a sponge and just listen because I'm like, oh, shit, dad's talking my story. Yeah, go on. Go. I'm like a sponge, just like absorbing everything my dad said because he just he never really talked. That's just the way he was. Never really talked. That's just the way he was. Uh, my dad would have kicked my ass, too, if I disrespected him. As a matter of fact, if dad got involved, I really fucked up because the look on my mom's face when she got pissed at me fucking sent, uh, sent shivers down my fucking spine, dude. When my mom got pissed, she got fucking pissed. <laughs> so if I ever got told, wait till your dad gets home, I really fucked the fuck up. And I'm telling you guys right now. I can count with fingers to spare on one hand how many times I did that because I learned. I fucking learned. Don't fuck around. <laughs> if you fuck around, you're going to find out. <laughs> Old Dad Saunders, not Father Saunders, but, but Dad Saunders, he didn't play. He didn't fucking play. Mom Saunders didn't play either, guys. Like uh, the relationship I have right now with my mother, obviously if I talked like that when I was 15, she would have backhanded my ass to the fucking moon. That shit ain't happening. I promise you. <laughs> it's, yeah, I've disagreed with my dad, but I, I didn't, I didn't uh, announce it and sit there and, and try to argue with. I never once did that. Yes, I've disagreed. I disagreed and I walked the fuck away. That's what I did. I disagreed and walked the fuck away. Uh, man. They would be married right now for 50, they would be celebrating their 53rd year of marriage if uh, my father was still alive uh, this year. Uh, they were married for 42 when my dad passed. Yeah, man. Oh, yeah, getting poked in the collarbone, that shit fucking sucked. That shit sucked, or... If I pissed my dad off enough when I had hair, <laughs> believe it or not, guys, I used to have hair. <laughs> Fuck you. Uh, if I pissed him off enough, he'd grab my fucking hair and pull that shit and say, listen, and that shit fucking hurt. And I listened. I shut the fuck up and I listened because I'm sure at one point I had a whiny fucking voice. Uh, my older brother picked on me all the fucking time. So he probably, even though he knows that 
you know, I'm not the cause of it. It's that sound. That sound is what would set him off. And I understand it now. Uh, and then my brother would sit there and laugh at me, even though he's the one who fucking started the shit. And if we were going, uh, if we were driving in the car, for example, if we went to, uh, uh, if we went on vacation, I always sat behind dad all the damn time. If I pissed my dad off, he reached behind the seat and grabbed my leg and pinched the fuck out of it. Dude, that hurt so bad. <laughs> so I tried to get my legs away from him and shit. Dude, that shit fucking hurt. Damn, that hurt. Uh, uh, Michelle Guevara, you said something that was hilarious that I don't know if I can go back and uh, quote. Can you put the quote that you... Uh, uh, put on the uh, uh, chat before I came online because that shit was hilarious because I, I can't remember it, but it was funny. I laughed at it. I thought it was funny. Iron Finger of Doom. Brandon knows. Brandon knows. No, I don't want to ban Brandon. Jesus Christ. God dang it. Hopefully I didn't eat myself. Motherfucker. Okay. No, I didn't. Okay. No, I don't want to put Brandon in fucking timeout. James, good to see you. Hanak Tadasi came on. Uh, James, I'm going to talk to you uh, uh, further about uh, next month. Um, I will email you what I'm going to do, James. I'm going to email you my personal phone number because it, it'll just work much better than fucking typing shit. So if you're cool with that, I'm just going to email you my uh, my personal phone number. Hemi's in here. Paul's in here. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, let's see here. Scissor me timbers. I was thinking about <laughs> on uh, Hammer Hands fucking stream because he's streaming about Pearl. I'm like Pearl me timbers. Uh, so I uh, I messaged SEE. Well, it's not SEE on Rumble, but I messaged him like Pearl me fucking timbers. Pearl me timbers. <laughs> That's a huge Easter Island head fucking huge bitch. God damn! Look at the size of that face. Holy shit! And she's like two inches taller than me, and I'm six foot. That's a huge bitch. Damn. Let me get back down here. I'm not gay for hair. I like hair, but I'm not gay for it. Just poopy things. Go. Okay, here, here, here it is. <laughs> God dang it. No. I'm on, okay, that's why. That's why. That's why. Here we go. Goats love bitches. Gooses love ganders. Everybody loves Father Flanders. <laughs> I don't know why, but I laughed my ass off on that. I thought it was fucking hilarious. I thought it was fucking funny. Good night, Brandon. Uh, thank you for uh, doing what you do. We appreciate you because I don't want to do that shit. For those of you guys who don't know, Brandon is a uh, truck driver. And... Uh, he streams every fucking day. Him and Chaos are probably uh, the most consistent streamers I've ever heard of, let alone seen, or both, or whatever. Uh, so thank you. Uh, please give Sam all the pets. And uh, have a good night. X button to doubt there, James. I had a really good time uh, being in your chat the other day too, Hamster. I had a really good time. This whole weekend was uh, fun as shit. It just, it really was. It was fun as hell. All right. I got to go take a piss. Phoenix, good to see you. I'm going to take a piss and I'm going to start the cam so you guys can look at your favorite thing right here. And I'll be right back. <laughs> look at the chair. Fucking look at it.
Yeah, look at that sexy ass fucking chair. Look at it. Smack that bitch. I pull its fucking hair. Fuck you guys. <laughs> There we go. I kick myself, chat. I get fucking excited and my mouse goes all over the fucking place. <laughs> I'm going to stop the cam. You guys don't need to see my face right now. You don't need to see my face. I am nice to my chair. I bought the son of a bitch, didn't I? Give it a good home. <laughs> it is a good home. It's a great home. Doesn't matter if I fart in it and shit like that. It's still a great home. It's taken care of. It's got a roof over its head. So eat a fucking dick, chat. <laughs> oh, man. It's been such a fucking awesome weekend. I haven't had this much fucking fun or had this much, uh, yeah, I, don't, I don't know, positive emotions uh, consecutively in a long fucking time. Even my almost 11-year-old St. Bernard with my sons when we were playing football, she was jumping, she was running, all that shit, more than I've ever fucking seen her do. And she's got terribly bad uh, hip, uh, I don't know if she's got hip dysplasia, but her back legs are really bad, guys, really bad. And she just acted like she was having the time of her fucking life, dude. It was like a, a Hallmark moment, even though Hallmark is fucking gay. Uh, James, actually, uh, they called off school here where I'm from right now because we're about to get a shit stove. Shit stove. We're going to get a shit stove. That's a new word now. We're going to get a shit stove of a, of a storm that's hitting fucking here in Nebraska. Where I'm at in Nebraska, it's going to be shit. It's a combination of sleet and snow, so it's going to be a wet fucking snow. Hold on. Let me look at the uh, my, my weather shit. Yeah, starting at 2300, which would be 11 o'clock for those of you guys that are fucking retarded and don't know. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's uh, snowing all day tomorrow on the forecast starting tonight. Yeah, they already called off school because uh, I have the notifications for the for the public schools and shit. Uh, hey, I appreciate that. I appreciate that, man. I got my vodka and... Uh, uh, other things, so I'm good. <laughs> Plus, here's another really awesome thing about fasting, guys. Fasting, uh, let's just get, say you get snowed in for three days. Obviously, you're going to have enough food for fucking three days. If you don't, I mean, you're a fucking retard. I mean, come on. But let's just say you didn't. Fasting also helps because you're already prepared to uh, go without uh, go without food or whatever for an extended period of time. Well, thank you. I try to stay safe all the time. It's the other motherfuckers on the road that I worry about. I'm not worried about me on the road. I'm worried about you motherfuckers. <laughs> I trust my driving. I trust my shit to a T. Can I trust your guys in driving? If I'm in a car with you, Guys, uh, absolutely no offense, but if I'm a passenger in your seat, it's so fucking awkward for me to sit in the passenger seat because I am used to fucking driving everywhere. Even when I was growing up, going through college, when I was married, all that shit, I fucking drove. Was there times I shouldn't be driving? Absolutely. Is there a lot of times where I shouldn't have been driving? Yes, Chad. Uh, I can admit that to you. Yep. There's times where uh, I was so drunk, I shouldn't have been driving. But you want to know what? Everybody else was passed the fuck out in my car. So I was the uh, designated drunk driver, which I don't want you guys to ever do. Please don't do that. Uh, but I'm going to share my story with you. Uh, I do not condone this. Please do not drink and drive, guys. Uh, but I'm going to tell you about my drinking and driving. But don't do it. It's not hypocritical. If I don't do it anymore, I'm not being a hypocrite. If I was still driving while drinking right now all the time, I would be a hypocrite. So just, just listen to me. Um, guys, just don't fucking do it, dude. There's times where I was seeing fucking like three or four, and I had to close one eye to keep it between the fucking lines, dude. Okay, I, I, I've been, 
I passed out on the interstate going 15 miles an hour after a fucking music concert. And my friends were like, Jared, I'm like, what? Like, oh, shit. I was going 15 on the fucking interstate. <laughs> Don't do that shit, guys. That's the only time I've ever passed out uh, while driving. I've been tired as fuck while driving. That is the only, the one and only fucking time I've ever passed out while driving. And it's because we didn't sleep the night before and we drank the entire night before and went to a fucking concert. Not good combinations, but when you're in your uh, uh, early 20s, you can recover from shit like fucking it's no tomorrow. It ain't fucking nothing. <laughs> Don't do that. Uh, but if I'm a passenger in your guys' car, um, if you have an oh shit handle, I'm automatically going to grab it. Not because you're a bad driver. I'm just going to grab it out of habit. And, uh, there's times where, uh, you guys hear, hear about air brakes where if I'm driving with you and, and, and it's, uh, like really close calls and shit like that, I'm like, I'm sitting there pressing the air brakes. <laughs> Uh, if I ever do take a nap or pass out in your car, any little fucking deviation, if you hit a bump, if you turn right or left too quick, I'm fucking, I fucking just, I'm wide awake. It's fu it fucking sucks. How are you still, dude? I don't know, man. Along with all the drinking stories I could tell you and being a combat vet and getting blown up and going through divorce, blah, 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 blah. How am I still alive? Only God knows. I think God has a very special angel for me. I think when God talked to this very special angel, he's like, look, I'm not going to lie to you. This is going to fucking suck. You're going to have to watch this dumb son of a bitch. <laughs> Thank you, God. I love you, God. And I love my angel. But my angel's probably like, God, I can't use God's name in vain. It's like, God, why? Why did you give me this fucker named Jared Saunders? I don't want this job, God. He's like, you know, you got to work your way up the ranks. He's like, oh, son of a... All right. Yeah, my guardian angel uh, has definitely earned their wings <laughs> every day. <laughs> yeah. Um, I'm very thankful to be alive, even though I got Dave's... Look, guys, I know what it's like on this channel. Here's why I love this fucking... Here's why I love my audience, if you will. I don't want to fucking sound arrogant. My audience, my fans. I, I feel weird when I say that, guys. I feel weird when I say my fans are my audience because it's just it, it's fucking weird to me. It really is. But I don't know, lack of a better word. My fans, my audience, you know, what the fuck else am I supposed to say? My fuck sticks? <laughs> my fuck sticks in the chat. <laughs> uh, no, guys, uh, I know what it's like to feel fucking dead inside, you know? I'm still happy. I can still feel. I know what it's like to uh, feel like you're on autopilot for, I don't know, fucking months at a time where you're just existing just because. Nothing excites you. Nothing uh, uh, depresses you. You're like emotionally fucking flatlined. You're emotionally numb. I probably talked with you guys about this before. I repeat the fuck out of the shit that I, my son just reminded me of that, by the way, I repeated something last night, like five times. <laughs> so I appreciate the fucking patience. Uh, I know what that's like. Most of you guys, if you're in my chat, I guarantee you guys still fight that shit today. Cause I still do. You just get better at managing it. It doesn't mean it goes away. There's days where you're just, you're emotionally flatlined. Nothing, nothing affects you. Not, not, not positively, not negatively. You're just, you're just there. Does that make sense? And uh, it's hard to find joy in anything that you fucking do. Even things that used to make you fucking happy. You're just like, it's whatever. It could, it could stop existing today and, and, you know, fuck it. Uh, it's a shitty fucking position to be in. I, I'm there with you guys. We're not okay. We're okay, but we're not okay. I understand you guys. I know that you guys understand me. We're not okay. But when we do shit like this, it makes it bearable. It makes it a little bit okay. I know. That's why I do this shit because, and you know, I'm fucking weird and I laugh and I do all that stupid shit because I know what it's like to not do that. 
and not laugh and not be happy and not be okay. I don't want you guys going through shit like that. I know you are, but if I can alleviate it, even for a couple of hours on a fucking father daughter stream, that's awesome. I'd want somebody to do that. If I'm watching one of you guys stream and I'm laughing, I'm having a good time. Uh, Hamster, we talked about it. Uh, I've been on True Bloods. Uh, you guys have talked shit about me. You guys have given donations to Hammerhand so he can talk shit about me. You guys troll me so much that you pay other people to troll me. <laughs> I think it's fucking hilarious. It's funny as fuck. Uh, but I want you guys to know, uh, truthfully, I am okay. I'm okay. But I also want you guys to know that uh, people like me, guys like me, guys probably like you. The one that is usually calm, doesn't really react, usually pretty quiet. And at the same time, when you get to know that person and they're comfortable around you is the exact opposite of everything I just told you guys about. That person's fucking fighting some fucking demons. I guarantee it. I, I fucking promise you guys. Some of the most broken men are the ones that sound like me, but better. Like, uh, for example, a Robin Williams. Okay, I can't compare myself to people like that. Uh, but but it's in the same under the same umbrella. Does that make sense? A lot of people out there that that do the shit that they do, including stand up comedians, they're fucked up. They're fucking hurting, dude. Part of their therapy is making other people laugh because it makes you. It reminds you that uh, you can still feel. Even if you have to do it vicariously through other people laughing at you, not because of self-deprecation, which I do, uh, because it's fucking hilarious, but no, I'm proud of myself. Don't, don't get me wrong, guys. I can talk shit about myself, but I'm proud of myself too. Uh, um, a lot of guys out there are going through a lot of shit. I know. You guys prove it every fucking day. You prove it every fucking day. It's hard to resist the urge to talk shit about you. Dude, we got people who don't even know who I am putting threes in the chat and shit. I'm just like, what the fuck? Fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> oh, man. You guys are fucking crazy, chat. You're fucking crazy. Is there uh shit? I've been waffling 40 minutes already. Okay. Uh, is there any topics you guys want me? <laughs> Fuck you, Frost. Fuck you. Fuck you. Um, is there any topics or anything that you guys want me to discuss? I'll, I'm going to keep waffling either way. But if there's something that you guys uh, would like my opinion on, I am open to that. Um, I will probably open up the chat, but not yet because I'm not done fucking talking. Okay, I'm going to talk my shit, and you guys are going to listen to some fucking shit. That's how it fucking works around here. Where's my fucking pen? Okay. I appreciate you guys joining me on a Sunday. Pretty rare for me to stream on a Sunday. I mean, I've done it, but it's rare. Uh, I just, I don't know, guys. I was feeling it. I had such a fucking good weekend. Uh... I didn't know what the fuck waffle stopping was. My son taught me that. I, I, I have never heard of someone taking a shit in the shower and then uh, stepping on it with your foot, and that's called a waffle stopping. I, I didn't know what the what the fuck. How the hell did my son know that, and I don't? Of course, I've never done that. I've done some stupid shit, but I've never taken a shit in a shower and uh, used my heel to stop it down the fucking drain. All right? I've done some weird fucking shit, but I haven't done that. <laughs> oh man he he knew what it was my son knew what it was <laughs> how the hell do you know what that is son? oh man i had a great fucking time uh my son wanted to be a part of it too and that was awesome i cannot believe my son was a part of that fucking stream for as long as he was it was a great time great time yeah, kids these days, right? I'm going to waffle stomp your ass. <laughs> I know, right, James? I know. I, I don't get it. I haven't done it. I can't relate because I haven't done it. I have never waffle stomped. It's funny, 
but I've never done it. <laughs> I don't know if I'd laugh or be like, what the fuck is wrong with you if I saw it or both at the same time? If one of you guys took a shit in a fucking drain and I saw it, I'd be like, well, what the fuck are you doing, dude? Like James says, the fucking toilet's like fucking a couple steps away here. <laughs> the fuck is wrong with you? Go home. Go lay down before you hurt yourself. Frost. I just figured out what the fucking Blumpkin was the other day, too. I didn't know what the fucking Blumpkin was. I know what it is, but I didn't know it was called that. <laughs> this, that's called a fucking Blumpkin? <laughs> don't do a Blumpkin, guys. All right? I don't want any woman riding me or blowing me while I'm taking a shit. All right? No. <laughs> No, I'm sure it would be a fucking crazy experience, but no, when I'm taking a shit, I want to be left the fuck alone. Unless I'm talking to you guys, because I think I've done that with you guys on, uh, well, obviously I turned the camera. I think I've shit with you guys on stream. <laughs> no, I've never, I've never seen a guy in the shower waffle stamp, stomping, uh, Paul. If I did see that, I'd be like, what the fuck is wrong with you? And probably laugh at the same time. Hey, Frost, I know this shit's hard, dude, because I'm actually in some type of a similar situation where uh, your friend's daughter is uh, flirting with you and you're trying really hard to not clap those cheeks. Uh, I do also have a friend whose uh, daughter has uh, flirted with me, and I'm just like, I'm very, very friendly uh, back because, you know, I watch these fucking people grow up. Uh, but I also, I'm just like, oh, gee, oh, uh, no, 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 this isn't good. Please stop doing that. She's never came on to me or touched me in inappropriate fucking ways, for lack of a better phrase. Uh, but as a man, you know, and I'm just like, no, 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 please don't do that. Uh, uh, just walk away, dude. Just walk away. It's, it's not worth it. You can think about it all you want. No one's going to fucking blame you for thinking about it, okay? Because it is what it is. You're a guy. Just don't do it. Take it like window shopping. You look, but you don't touch. You don't purchase. You walk by. You look. You don't touch. You don't purchase. Uh, purchase. Does that make sense, guys? But I also know, Frost, I know where you're coming from. Uh, because you're also 11 years younger than me, so your testosterone... Uh, dude, I, in my thirties, dude, I was a fuckaholic when I was married, dude, dude that's what I wanted to do is fuck. <laughs> dude, seriously. Uh, I know how hard it is in your fucking thirties. Uh, for some reason, dude, my thirties, dude, I was a fucking freak. <laughs> I'm not my friend's daughter, you weirdo. Fuck's wrong with you? I'm not that gay. Good Lord, good night almighty. Yeah, every day at work takes all your willpower to not clap your uh, friend's sister's cheeks. Please don't do it. Um, I'm sure it'd be a, a great time. Uh, I'm sure a lot of fun is there to be had. <laughs> but uh, the aftermath the aftermath is so number one unpredictable, and you know for a fact, period, end of story, and somehow, some way or the other, drama will be introduced to your life because you caved in and gave in to the uh, to uh, doing the deed. All right, I, I know. I'm just I'm right there with you. It still happens at my age. If you take care of yourself, it, it does still happen. It's very flattering. It's very flattering to have someone half your age or uh, even even younger, you know, portray that they're interested in you. Uh, it's very flattering. I'm very honored. I, I am. But I just, uh, I, I laugh. I do my cordial thing and I get the fuck out of there. I'm like, fuck this, dude. I, I got to get out of here. <laughs> I got to go. Okay. I can't, I, I, I can't do the shit. All right. I'm used to going for fucking anywhere between 8 and 16 months without fucking getting pussy, guys. And I love pussy. 
I love that fucking shit. Give me that fucking shit. I'm gonna fuck the fuck out of it. I'm gonna fuck you and your fucking buckle. <laughs> I get it, guys. I'm a dude. I, I get it. I, I still fight it too, guys. I, I really do. Uh, but the more you deal with the uh, aftermath of the situations you guys find yourself in, uh, the more you're just like, it's just not fucking worth it, dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's good looking. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah. I would love to see that fucking pussy bouncing on this dick. I would love it. But uh, I know what comes with that. So I'm going to go ahead and walk this other way. <laughs> no, I don't believe Frost already hit it. I don't believe Frost already hit it. I don't believe that. He's been given chances to hit it, but I don't think he's hit it yet. Uh, at least I hope he has not done that yet. Uh, it's my friend's sister who I red pilled. Oh shit! Oh damn, dude. Yeah, it's one of those things where you just uh, you're cordial, you can smile, laugh, think about it, be like, oh my god, dude, I would fucking ruin you, girl. I would fucking tear your pussy up so fucking hard. <laughs> Every other person that you ever sleep with will be fucking compared to me because I'm going to own that fucking pussy, you fuck. I know what it's like, guys. Yeah. Uh, please don't fucking dig her guts out. Don't fucking dig them out. Don't do it. But look, guys, th th this is my channel. This is shit that men talk about. This is shit men deal with. All right. Uh, no, it's not. You guys hear that? You know what? I miss the sound of the fucking bedpost fucking slamming against the wall when I'm fucking railing a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> don't clip that. Riggs, don't clip that. Okay? Don't do it. But it's okay. I'm a guy. Okay? I, I know what it's like to go extended periods of fucking time because I don't put myself out there, guys. I don't put myself the fuck out there. So obviously the opportunities are not going to be there for me. And I purposely do that because I don't want to be in those opportunities if I can help it. Uh, but I've also talked to you guys and I've been honest with you guys. Uh, I think it was a month ago, six weeks ago, some shit like that. Uh, it had been eight months since I got laid and uh, the last booty call that I had, I fucking, yeah, yeah. I fucking tore that shit the fuck up. I fucked it like there was no tomorrow. <laughs> I, 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 I fucked her so hard that I was sore as fuck for the next two days. Like my legs were sore as shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Oh, it felt so fucking good. But, uh, guys, I understand. Look, I, I, you guys already know this. I don't consider myself a MGTOW or a monk or anything like that. And, uh, I agree with why people do that. I agree with, with the uh, tenets of MGTOW. Uh, you know, no no marriage, no cohabitation, no kids, unless you already have them, of course. Uh, shit like that. I agree with all of it. I just, I, I, I do my own thing. I do my own fucking shit, okay? I, I, I'm a fucking Jared doing his own thing. I'm a bachelor, okay? Um, you, guys, you guys understand? Does that make sense? You know? What's a MGTOW bachelor? Isn't a bachelor? Wait, wait, wait. Rusty, explain this to me. I was talking with Rusty about this. He's like, every bachelor is not a MGTOW, but every MGTOW is a bachelor. And it made, it made a lot of sense uh, to me. Does that make sense, guys? So maybe you're right there, Frost. MGTOW bachelor. Because not every bachelor is a MGTOW, but every MGTOW is a bachelor. It made sense to me. Made a lot of sense to me. Saunders, what was the fella's name? Uh, what fella? I don't do any of that gay shit. <laughs> Wait, it wasn't no dude. <laughs> no, dude. I, I uh, There is nothing more beautiful than a fine woman's ass. God dang, I've got a weakness for a woman's fucking fine, fucking fit, fat, fucking ass. God damn. 
How can you guys not like that shit? Of course you guys do, man. I'm an ass man. I always have been, always will be. Fuck. God dang, there's nothing sexier than a fine woman's fucking ass. But, you know, I'm also 44. It's not like I'm in my heyday and I can fucking pull a uh, poom. And I wasted a lot of time and a lot of money chasing fucking split tail, guys. Yeah, we called it split tail back in my day. Chasing that fucking split tail, Saunders. <laughs> Stop chasing the split tail. But also back in my day, you know, we didn't have the Me Too shit. We didn't have the harassment shit. You know, if a woman said no or whatever the hell it was, it, that, that's where it ended. That's where it was. There was no crazy shit. Like the 90s was, was the, I don't say the 90s was the last great decade for a reason, guys. I say the 90s was the last like fucking awesome decade because none of the shit that we have now existed. Okay, it, it, it was just a better fucking time. It's not just nostalgia, guys. It's not just fucking nostalgia. Uh, back in the day, things were just fucking better. Your dollar went a lot further. I didn't make shit. I was still broke as fuck. But your dollar went further. Uh, so when people talk about, you know, everybody struggling today, I know. Trust me, I know, guys. I struggled like fuck. Even back in my day, the federal minimum wage is still like seven twenty-five an hour, guys. I'm so old that uh, I was working when the minimum wage was like four fifteen. <laughs> you guys think you're going to live on seven twenty-five an hour? If you guys worked a hundred hours a week, you couldn't afford that shit. There's no fucking way. Rent also made sense when I was growing up, guys, in the 90s, because rent was about half of what the average mortgage uh, was. So if the average mortgage was, let's just say, for example, uh, 800 bucks back in the 90s or whatever, rent was, you know, three or 400. It made sense to rent because you could actually save money. Even, even though you didn't own it, it was cheaper than a mortgage. Now the average rent, even where I'm from uh, in Nebraska, is just as much or more than the average fucking mortgage. It's fucking insane, dude. It's fucking insane. You're going to see, guys, a lot more. I've already called this years ago. You're going to see a lot more multi-generational uh, homes here in the United States where the kids don't leave until they're like fucking 30 because they can't afford it. They, they just can't. They cannot afford to go fucking live. They can't. And uh, those that can, you probably got like two, three, four fucking roommates. Do you guys know how much fucking roommates suck? Having roommates fucking sucks. I've had two good roommates out of the 11 in my life that I've had. Now, I'm not saying that I, I was, you know, the best one or the good one or whatever. I'm sure if you guys got to know me long enough, there's probably shit that I would do that would fucking annoy you. Okay, that's just the way it is. But there's only two out of the 11 in my life who paid on time, cleaned up after themselves and weren't loud as fuck or, you know, respected, you know, you know, boundaries and shit like that. Two, two out of 11. That is a shitty fucking percentage, guys. But I mean, if I was struggling in the 90s, you're definitely fucking struggling today. You're fucking definitely fucking struggling today. As a matter of fact, if you're making anything less than, I don't know, 25 if you're making anything less than $25 an hour, you're not okay. You're fucking struggling. You're living paycheck to paycheck. We've talked about this on my chat, guys, where, what is it? 70% of uh, Americans have $500 or less in their fucking savings account. They're one bad shit happening uh, thing away from being fucking broke and having no fucking savings. It's fucking terrible. I know I lived that life. I lived that fucking life almost until I was the age of 40. It fucking sucks. I know what it's like to pay bills and have $2 and change left. Somehow, some way, I was uh, always able to scrounge up enough change to get my fucking chewing tobacco. <laughs> I know. I, it's fucking terrible, man. It's fucking terrible. <clears throat> Yeah, it's an absolute shit show, uh, Michelle. You're going to start seeing it in first world, quote unquote, first world countries. You're going to start seeing it because nobody can afford to live. Or you want to go try to uh, live the American dream? The American dream fucking died decades ago. I don't know where the fuck you guys are getting that, but 
there ain't no American dream because I'm an American and it ain't no dream. <laughs> You're struggling every fucking day. Why do you think most people that are working class drink all the fucking time? Because they're going to a job they hate, working with people they fucking hate to barely have enough to fucking uh, put enough food on their plate. And that all fucking rhymed. I was a poet. I just didn't know it. I got a size 12 shoe to fucking show it. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> uh, but it's like the working poor. You're working your ass off so you can keep a roof over your head. And you're one fucking situation away of fucking being completely broke. Or you don't work and you don't have a roof over your head. Those are not good fucking uh, options, guys. They're not good options. How many people out there spent six figures on a fucking college degree and they're working at, uh, you know, a uh, $15 an hour job and they spent like fucking six figures on a degree? Do you think that somebody making $15 an hour is ever going to pay off a six figure degree, let alone buy a house, buy a car, have kids, blah, 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 blah. Fuck no, guys. No. If you are struggling right now, the last thing that should be on your mind is starting a family. Even if the women were viable, even if the vast majority of women were good fucking people, they were viable, they were loyal, they took care of themselves. If you're struggling to take care of your, don't have a family, guys, don't do it because it will fucking break you even further. If you think you're struggling now, try adding a fucking child and see if that helps your situation. It ain't going to fucking help you. I can promise you that. And a damn sure ain't going to save your fucking quote unquote marriage. Don't do it. Uh, that's coming from a father. I'm a father and I'm telling you guys, don't do it. I love my sons. I love being a father today. Don't do it. Please. You're, you're just going to set yourself up for fucking pain. A lot of pain. There's a lot of guys out here, guys, that are not here anymore because of that said fucking pain. Fuck, I gotta go fucking piss again, son of a bitch. All right. I will be back, guys. Uh, I might open up the stream here. I just want to come on tonight. I don't know how long I'm going to be on here yet. I don't think I'm going to be on until four in the morning. But you never know with me, dude. You never fucking know. You never fucking know. So let's uh, start this motherfucking cam. And you guys can look at my sexy ass fucking chair. Matter of fact, here we go. You guys can, can get real personal with it here. There you go. Whisper sweet nothings into my chair's ear.
What's up, chat? What's up, chat? <clears throat> there we go. You guys see that? You guys are jealous of my chair because my chair gets this ass. <laughs> Fuck you. You dick. <laughs> uh, you guys having a good time? I hope you guys have had a fantastic fucking weekend. I sure as fuck have. It's been absolutely fun as shit. Uh, thank you guys. Uh, specifically, outside of uh, time with my sons, guys. Um, you guys, your guys' company. I enjoy your guys' company. We'll put it there. It, uh, it makes life a little bit easier. We laugh. We have a good time. We give each other shit. Uh, I appreciate you guys. Okay. I, I, I do really. Cause it lets me know that, uh, I don't know. It just it lets me know that, uh, there's other people out there all fucked up going through some fucking shit for lack of a better way to put it. You know what I'm saying? Like, uh, I love my mother. I love my sons. Uh, but you know, it's pretty fucking isolating outside of that, outside of what we're doing right here. Pretty fucking isolating. I know you guys know where I'm coming from. I talk to you guys about it all the time. There ain't no dildo in this fucking chair. I don't swing that way. Fuck is wrong with you? Hidden fucking dildo. What? You think I got a latch that opens up a dick? <laughs> Uh, what the fuck was I saying? Son of a bitch. Uh, yeah, yeah, okay. But, but you guys know, you guys know, man. We've talked about this a hundred fucking times. It's going to be 101 now because you know me, you know Father Saunders. I'm going to repeat shit that I say 110 fucking times. <laughs> uh, you can't go around to the people that you know in everyday life and talk about the shit that we're talking about. It just, you don't. I go around the people that I meet in everyday life and I be cordial, but we're not talking about the shit that we're talking about here. That shit don't fucking happen. And if it did, they'd probably look at you and be like, uh, dude, should we call the cops on this motherfucker? This guy's fucking crazy, dude. He's fuck, yeah, he's your neighbor. Fuck, go talk to him. <laughs> no, I don't want to talk to him. Why don't you want to talk? Because he's fucking crazy. Well, what do we do? I don't know. What do we do? <laughs> oh, man. I don't know. Uh, let, <laughs> I'm going to tell you guys a quick story. Quick story today. I went to the liquor store today. They usually close at 6 o'clock. Now, you guys that know me, well, if you knew me when I was going through my mom's heart issues, uh, obviously I was, you know, pretty bad at that time. Sundays, Mondays, Tuesdays, I usually don't touch alcohol. Uh, today I did. Obviously, you guys are going to be able to tell if you've been on a fucking father's on a screen. Oh, I haven't had anything to drink. You guys got bullshit, motherfucker. I'll be like, fuck, yeah, they know. They know when Father saunders has been drinking. Now, Father Saunders could act like this sober, too. That's the conundrum. Can you, can you guess when Saunders is drinking? Yes, when I slur my words, of course you can fucking figure that out. But I'm a crazy son of a bitch before I start drinking. So can you guys really identify if I've been drinking or not? Anyways, God, I got to get off those fucking tangents. Oh, so I went to the liquor store, and uh, uh, the cashier, how do I explain this? She is... Uh, what I would consider thick. Cashier's thick. She's not fat. She's not obese. She's not skinny. She's thick. I don't know how else to fucking explain it. She's not fat. She's not skinny type thing. And uh, she's 28 years old. And man, we, we were talking for about five, 10 minutes. I had her, she was laughing, uh, doing this and whatnot. Uh, the reason why I found out how old she was is because we got to talking about, you know, what your body feels like at what age and whatnot. Don't ask me how the fuck we even got there when I was buying vodka. Okay. It just, it, it, uh, the conversation just happened. I let it happen, guys. I let it happen. Whether or not she was interested in me, I don't know. 
I didn't ask for a number. I didn't see a ring on her finger because I looked for that too. She probably looked at mine. Uh, she was talking about drinking and she likes to drink. She likes to drink uh, in her home. She doesn't want to go out. She has her friends come over, blah, blah, blah. She was, uh, she was uh, opening herself up because when you're comfortable with somebody and you see them often enough, you're going to say some more shit. I didn't ask for a number or anything like that or ask where she lived. or I didn't even introduce her. I don't even know this girl's name. I know who she is, and she knows who I am. We've seen each other a dozen times, uh, but we don't even know each other's name. But uh, even my son, who was sitting in the passenger seat when I went to the liquor store, was like, Dad, what were you doing? I saw her in there laughing, looking at you, talking, talking, talking. I'm, like, I'm sorry, son. I'm sorry you had to wait here for 10 minutes. Uh, it was uh, We were just talking, son. He's like, yeah, okay, Dad. I said, I think I got her fucking panties wet, though. <laughs> I think I got her wet, guys. She's looking at a fucking 44-year-old fucking stud, and she's 28. And I'm sitting there uh, being cordial because that's what I do. But in my mind, I'm thinking, dude, I, I don't. I, I will fucking ruin you. I will fucking tear that shit up. Please don't do it. <laughs> oh, man. Saunders got to clap. If I had the opportunity, uh, Frost, I can't look at you and say I turn it down. I can't. But I also didn't put myself in a position. I didn't ask a name. I didn't ask a number. Uh, she said where she li- uh, she didn't say where she lives, but she lives in town. Here's what I do. I didn't ask. Oh, oh you live here in town? Where do you live at? Blah 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 blah. blah. No, no, no. I, I I knew better because I felt uh, I felt a little tinkle in my dick. And I'm like, no, this this isn't this isn't going to end anywhere good. I'm going to go ahead and take that tinkle in my dick and go home. <laughs> oh shit. Saunders, stop riding the spring. We can. Hear. I'm not riding shit. There you go. Toilet saunders to chair saunders. I hate my life. Chair saunders to toilet saunders. At least you can flush. Super Turbo uh, Gay Shark uh, said that on uh, Hammerhand's uh, Rumble. It was hilarious. So I said, I'll allow it. It's fucking funny, so I'll allow it. Yeah, Boomer Saunders Liquor Store Adventures. <laughs> liquor Store closes at 6 o'clock on Sunday, so you got to get there before 6. I don't know, but if she offered uh, Frost, I can't look at you as a man in your eyes and say, I'm going to turn it down. I can't chat, guys. I can't. If she said, you want to come over and fuck me or you know, whatever, uh, uh, yes, yes, uh, I would enjoy that immensely. I will come over and I will clap the cheeks. What time? Okay, yep, I'll be there. <laughs> Uh, but uh, I try not to put myself in those positions because uh, I just, I know the drama that comes with, guys, I live in a small fucking town. The entire town probably know that I clapped those cheeks before I got done coming. And uh, I don't want that heat. I don't want that fucking drama. I just don't. I really don't. Believe it or not, I got a lunch fucking lady story for you too. <laughs> Okay, like no shit, no shit. So I had a good buddy of mine. I worked with him and his brother for five years as a machine operator at a factory at uh, what's called uh, Beckton Dickinson. If you guys have ever used a fucking syringe or whatever, or ever had to get a shot or whatever, chances are it came from uh, West Pharmaceuticals or Beckton Dickinson or a combination of one or the other, right? So, uh, Good dudes, really good guys. Um, Unfortunately, uh, the older one who was just one year younger than me got really drunk and wrapped his fucking car up in a ditch and uh, he got ejected from it. And uh, yeah, he's gone. He was done. He's gone, uh, about my age. Another one of my buddies that I worked at that same job with, uh, he uh, killed himself. I'm not going to fucking do that stupid uh, un- I, I, he unended his life. Fuck, he killed himself. He killed himself. Um, I don't know what he did. I don't care to know. But uh, it was just before his 40th birthday. That was in August of uh, 2019, I believe. It fucking sucks. It fuck, this shit's terrible. The other brother's still alive. Uh, he left his house here where I live. 
and he moved half an hour away to where I take my son to get trained. And his now ex-wife is the lunch lady of my sons that I go to visit once every couple of months and I have lunch with them. She always comes out, sits with me, uh, talks to me. Uh, she's very flirty with me. And I'm just like, nope, don't do it, Jared. Don't do it. Uh, because I, her ex-husband, I, I get along fantastically with him. I don't want any fucking bullshit there, even though we don't talk very much anymore. I'm not going to risk it. But she gets really fucking flirty, too. So there's another lunch uh, lunch lady maxing. Those lunch lady maxing. <laughs> sloppy Joes, we know how much, we know how sloppy you like them. <laughs> sloppy Joe, slop, sloppy Joe, fuck you. <laughs> oh man, she lets you splooge. It's all over for you. She probably does want my nuts on her chin. I did not. I had uh, company, so I didn't do that. And then I got too drunk to do it after. <laughs> yeah, uh, this is actually very, very profound. Believe it or not, better to have peace of mind than a piece of ass. Now, that piece of ass is so palatable. I mean, you're just, you want to put your fucking face in that shit and just, <laughs> fuck the tits, man. Give me your ass. I want your fucking ass, bitch. <laughs> oh, shit. Uh no, not beg for Dickinson, Beckton Dickinson. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, it was terrible, man. Um, I had a very couple of my uh, coworkers who were actually friends. I told you guys, coworkers are not your fucking friends because they're not. But these guys were actually friends. Uh, I helped him, uh, the one who killed himself. I helped him build his uh, 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 garage in his gym. He had a fucking fantastic fucking uh, gym garage. And I'd go there and I would train with him. And, uh, you know, he was my height. He was balding like me. Uh, uh, they couldn't tell him and me apart because you had to wear like uh, a beard net and a fucking hair net and shit because you're dealing with uh, medical shit. And then you had to have like a, uh, uh, what the fuck is it called? Like a turncoat or whatever the fuck. Anyways, we got along fantastic. Uh, he lost his girlfriend, and then uh, he lost his job, the same job that I got fired from, and I've never been fired before in 2016 because I got to a supervisor's face. They did a seven-day investigation and found me to be guilty of uh, threatening a supervisor or some shit like that. Uh, I'm not stupid, guys. I didn't threaten him. I didn't threaten. Uh, I, I wanted to hurt. I, if I had the opportunity, I would hurt him very much. I would punch him until I could not punch no more. I'll put it that way. Uh, it's easier to replace me as a fucking regular worker than it is a supervisor. That's my opinion. So they let me go. And uh, where the fuck was I going with this? I have no idea where I was going with that chat. Bengus, dude, hyperhidrosis sucks. Dude, I sweat all the fucking time. That's why I have moisture wicking uh, socks. I have moisture wicking underwear. I have moisture wicking fucking shirts because I sweat all the fucking time and it's fucking awful. I hate it. Fucking hate that shit. Oh, you guys are fucking. You guys. You guys. You guys in the fucking chat. Giving me fucking shit, motherfuckers. Hide that shit. There we go. All right. So. Uh, I don't put myself out there. That's what I was getting back to. Outside of, you know, me getting groceries and, uh, you know, visiting my kids and whatnot. I can't help it. What am I going to do? Tell the lunch lady, get the, get the fuck away from me. Don't sit by me. You know, my, my kids are there. Sometimes I'll take my mom so she can see her grandkids because that's the only time she gets to see them sometimes. She comes out and she's flirting with me and, and uh, you know, whatnot. And I'm just like, oh, Jesus, fuck Christ. Don't tempt me because she's like a frost age. 
And then I got hit on by a 28 year old and I'm 44 and they know my age and they're very, they act like they're very interested, but I don't take that step. I don't ask for the number, exchange the number. Hey, what are you doing tonight? Blah, blah, blah. Uh, I stop it guys. Uh, every time. Uh, I just, uh, I know at my age that shit just fucking doesn't end well. Even if you have a uh, friends with benefits, I've only had one friend with benefits in my life. One who actually left it at that and never expected or wanted more than that. One guys, one, it actually can't happen. I lived it. That's, that's, that's all we did was just fuck. That was it. There was nothing else. Just fucking. She'd go out and do her thing, and I'd fucking go do my thing. And we fucked, and it was awesome. And there was no attachment. There was no feelings. There was no nothing. It was in college. That shit doesn't happen, guys. But I'm telling you that I actually did get to experience it one time. Nothing ever further ever came from it. How many times? Frost. Let's ask Frost. Frost still smashes some fucking cheeks. Frost. How many friends with benefits have you ever had who did not want more? When you already established at the beginning, this is all that this is going to be. I've had one. One. Have you ever, have you ever even had one that you could do that and nothing else ever came from it at all, ever? I, I want to know, seriously, Chad. If you guys have ever had a friends with benefits, let me know if it actually ever worked and didn't uh, uh, blow up into a shit show. Because I've had one. I can tell you guys I've had one. It was awesome. It lasted for uh, a year. We just fucked. That was it. Nothing ever. We just fucked. That was it. Guys, that doesn't happen. You guys know. You guys fucking know that it's usually the woman who wants more. They think they think they can change you. They think you want more. Uh, Frost, no. You guys know. You guys know. If you've ever had a friends with benefit, you guys know that eventually there's going to be one of you. Sometimes it could be the guy, too, I'm sure. It never happened to me, but sometimes I'm sure it could be the guy. You get kind of attached and you want to make something more out of it. I'm like, no, look, I just want to fuck. I want to nut on you, on your back, in your pussy, in your mouth, on your face, whatever the fuck it is. And then that's it. I'm going to fuck the shit out of you until I can't fuck no more. And then I'm going to go fuck off and do my own thing. And I'll call you in a couple weeks. <laughs> <laughs>
What's up, chat? You guys doing good? I'm having a great fucking time. <coughs> I'm enjoying the fuck out of myself. I'm enjoying the fuck out of myself, chat. <coughs> you guys having a good time? You better be having a good time or I'll fucking hurt you. I'll slap the fuck out of you. All right. Before I open up the chat. <coughs> damn it. Before I open up the chat, would you guys like to hear a uh, sexual escapade story from Saunders? There's a lot of them. <laughs> I'm not going to get into de uh, details, but I think it's very interesting. I think you guys will actually be entertained on this one. Uh, let me know in the chat if you guys want me to uh, tell you one of my escapades. And then I will uh, open up the chat. Because it's actually it's actually a really good story. Or a really good uh, scenario. I'll put it that way. <clears throat> no, it did not involve any dudes. L look at this motherfucker. Super Turbo Gay Shark. Super Gay Death Shark. Gay Turbo Death Shark. Super Turbo Death Gay. Keeps talking shit. <laughs> There's nothing better than my fucking chair. Your chair is not... Fuck your chair. My chair could take your fucking chair. I guarantee it. I fucking guarantee it, dude. You're talking about a father's honest chair. My chair could take your fucking chair. The saying that my dad can beat your dad up thing, huh? -uh. My chair can fucking fuck. You. My chair would fuck your chair. It would make your chair my chair's bitch. That's what would happen. No, my balls don't hit the toilet water yet. Uh, I will officially call myself old if and when, if or when that happens. If that happens, I will let you guys know and I'll be like, I'm officially old because my balls hit the fucking uh, toilet water. <laughs> Riggs, good to see you, sir. Good to see you. Nothing should concern you about me. Why would you ever be concerned about me? Are you gay? <laughs> what the fuck? What I do? I don't remember what I did 10 minutes ago. You have to, you have to remind me. I know she's really good looking for us. Seriously, she's really good looking girl. Very good looking. If that same girl that Frost is fucking smashing right now were to come on to me chat, I couldn't turn her down. There's no fucking way. She's a very good looking girl. Very fucking good looking. Uh, can I come around? <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You talked about that, Frost. Uh, obviously, Frost has talked with her. And said, this is all it's going to be. We're having a good time. It's just been fun. Uh, she's probably going to or has already got on the side of trying to change Frost's mind. Uh, no. This is all it's going to be. Look, you can't get mad at the guy. You can't get mad at me or Frost. If I said from the get-go, this is all it's ever going to be. You can't get pissed at me later if I don't do what you think it should fucking evolve into. We agreed this is how it goes from the beginning, period, end of story. Uh, yeah, yeah. I had a few friends with benefits, but they found Simpson uh, settled. <laughs> settled. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The memes, are, it, it, it's true. Super, I've had them. I, I, I've had them. I guarantee they're in a unhappy, broken fucking marriage right now. If they're still married. Look, you know, but also back in our day, man, uh, you could actually fucking hit on women and, you know, get turned down or take them home or whatever. And that was it. Um, there was no fucking TikToks and fucking, you know, shorts and fucking, you know, uh, the Me Too shit. There, there was none of that shit, obviously. Okay, I think I got back. Frost, that's a little fucking excessive, brother. That's a little fucking excessive. Look, look at that. That's a little fucking excessive chat. Paul, Rick, dude, 
That's a little fucking excessive, chat. Okay. We got to have boundaries here. Got to have fucking boundaries. Yeah, sharp Miss Taco Tuesday going to get half a chair. <laughs> what, what the fuck does that even mean? <laughs> oh, shit. Marinating in my booty, my, my, my booty broth. Chaos actually uh, came up with something. Uh, he was selling Saunders booty broth live online. Uh, I thought it was hilarious. <laughs> Saunders booty broth. Use code Riggs is fucking gay to get 15% off. Okay, let me get back in the shit. Let me get back in the shit. Flanders got clap out. Nope, nope. I've never been with the Barracks Money. Never once. Have I seen them? Yep. <laughs> Have I been with one? Nope. Believe it or not, when I was uh, when I was stationed in Hawaii, I never once cheated on my wife. I had a couple opportunities to do so, and I said no. Uh, was it hard? Yes. Was I hard? Yes. I turned it down. Uh, only twice. Because I did not put myself in a fucking position, whether it was going to the clubs, yada, yada, yada. Uh, you know, I kept myself out of that as much as I could. Because the temptation, if I were to get tempted, you know, much more than twice, there's a, there's a high chance that I would have uh, caved. But I never did. And I actually flew my uh, wife out there. I decided to not come home once and see my wife and kids at the time. One of them, I decided to fly my wife out there. And uh, we spent uh, five days together there in Hawaii. Just going to all the beaches, going to all the fucking things, all that shit. She had a great fucking time. And uh, yeah, I don't know what the fuck I'll say. One chair and one Saunders. What are these fellers' names? You can eat a fucking dick, JR. You can eat a fucking Mexican dick, you fucking pendejo. You fucking puta. Puta. Pinche fucking halta. Pinche halta. That's what JR is. <laughs> you guys saw my chair. You guys saw the fucking seating of my chair. Did you guys see any brown marks? Because I don't see them. Did you see them? If you can, go ahead and post them in the chat. We'll go ahead and uh, we'll go ahead and do that. And uh, we're gonna we're gonna figure out if you guys didn't edit that shit, Photoshop that shit, because there ain't no fucking shit on my motherfucking chair. <laughs> uh, Saunders, you chair makes other chairs gay. Other chairs are gay for my chair. They want my chair. They want to be my chair. They want Saunders' ass to sit in them. <laughs> all your chairs out there, chat, all your chairs, all your beds, all your couches are jealous because my chair and my bed get Father Saunders' ass, but they have to settle for fucking your ass, which is half the ass of my ass. <laughs> oh, shit. That's fucking funny. Damn, she's 22, brother. Oh, my God. Uh, did you guys want me to tell that story or not? I can still tell you that story. I've got a lot of stories. You guys want me to tell you the story about one of my uh, sex capades, if you will, without getting too, uh, you know, down into it. You know, I'm not going to fucking gross you guys out or anything like that. <laughs> Fake AI chair. No, I don't want to delete his comment. No, super two row. I don't want to put him in timeout for fuck's sake. Fake AI chair. No, no, no. That's the that's the real chair. That's the real chair. The real chair Saunders looks like it uh, made it through an explosion at the Hershey Kisses plant. <laughs> <laughs> super, you got a lot of good shit, man. I'll allow it. That's a nice bird. I'll allow it, dude. Some of the shit you say is fucking hilarious. Ghost pill. Saunders chair has Jack Murphy special in it. No, 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 no. No, it does not. It does not. That, that's a lie. Pinche Badale. Pinche fucking Badale. That's what Chad is, JR. Fucking Pinche Badale. 
fucking you got any tequila? Do you like tequila? Why? You got some? <laughs> you need more fertilizer. Yes, because it's fertilizer. What the fuck is wrong with you, gringo? Fucking gringo, you fucking white boys. Fucking gringos. <laughs> okay, I'll, I'll tell you guys here. Let, let, let me get to the chat here. All right, all right. So, guys, uh, do you guys know? I never knew this. This is my first experience. <laughs> I've never done this before. Fucking bear with me. Be gentle. <laughs> guys, uh, I was dating what is called, that I did not know at the time, a Latina. She was a Latina, and she was also Chinese. So she is called a Latina. She was 30. I was 40 uh, at the time, going through my divorce shit. Uh, fucking terrible fucking time. Uh, actually, I wasn't even 40 yet. I would have been 39, I think. And she lived four hours away from me. We met online. I took her out to shoot pool a half an hour away from my house. About two hours later, I was clapping those cheeks in a fucking hotel room, and it was fucking magnificent. <laughs> I couldn't come, guys. I couldn't come. Uh, for you guys that don't know, I'm off and on on uh, antidepressants. And if you guys don't know this, some antidepressants uh, give you what's called delayed ejaculation. If you guys ever heard of delayed ejaculation, it's where you can't come. No matter what you do, you can't fucking come. I wonder if some of those porn stars take that shit because that's a side effect to uh, some of the antidepressants out there. I never had that until I was on it for years and years and years and years off and on because I didn't want to take a pill the rest of my life. So I got introduced. When I got better, I went off. I'd go off for, you know, half a year at a fucking time. Because I don't want to be on that shit. Who the fuck wants to take pills all their fucking life? But, you know, it did help. Zoloft, Sertraline. You can clip that one fast deck. Here you go. You got a Father Saunders talking about how he's on fucking head meds. <laughs> but, uh, no, man, uh, I, I couldn't come. I could not come. It was such a fantastic pussy she was so good looking for us she was so fucking hot as a matter of fact i'll never forget this guys you know what it wasn't just the woman let me guys tell you something there's a guy at that bar back when i was 39 i had to go take a piss i was teaching her how to shoot pool so of course i got up behind her and i was teaching her and shit and i'm just like oh uh, yeah yeah I, I i know where this is going <laughs> uh i went to go take a piss and other guys were trying to hit on her one of the guys that were friends of the guys that hit on her sat with her until I got back and said, I want to sit here with her because uh, people were hitting on her. I'm going to leave now. Do you know how fucking awesome that was to hear? That dude sat across from her, across from uh, the woman that I took out on date that night. He sat there to make sure nobody else fucked with her. I want to make sure that uh, my buddies or nobody else fucked with her. Uh, have a good night. He got up and left. That's it. When I came back from taking a piss, I couldn't believe them. Like, holy shit, there's guys out there like this. It was fucking amazing, dude. It's fucking awesome. Couldn't believe it. So we went back to uh, her hotel room. And uh, obviously one thing led to another. And... Uh, she lives four hours away from me. There was one time where I went to go visit my brother and I wanted to see her. And I'm like, how can we make this work? Dude, I, this is the craziest shit, guys. One time she took my ass four hours back to my house and drove herself four hours the fuck back after I clapped those fucking cheeks, dude. That's respect. That's fucking respectful, dude. I said, I want to see you, but I can't because I got this issue. My car's in the shop, whatever the fuck it was, because my car was fucked up at the time. And she's like, well, I can come get you and bring you back. I'm like, are you serious? That, that that's, that's four hours one way. Are you seriously willing to do that? She's like, yeah. I'm like, okay. How the fuck am I going to turn that down, guys? She drove four hours, picked me up so I could clap her cheeks, and then fucking drove my four-hour ass back. <laughs> 
That's not the story, though, guys. That's the buildup to the climax. You guys know what climaxing is, don't you? Don't answer that question. Okay. Here's the climax chat. Me and her got along so well for the like three or four months that we saw each other. We were driving down I-80, Interstate 80. My dick was so fucking hard, I could not get it to fucking stop. We were in her vehicle. My dick was so hard, I pulled my pants down and I fucking just pulled my fucking uh, boxer briefs down and my hard dick was right there. I'm like, do you want to ride this? <laughs> I do this stupid shit, guys. I actually do this. <laughs> I did this anyway. I'm like, uh, I'm fucking hard as shit. Do you want to ride this? She's like, oh my God. I'm like, look, I have a way we can do this. Let's switch seats. I want you to ride me while I'm driving down the interstate. <laughs> Dude, it was so fucking cool. It was so fucking awesome. I went to the driver's seat and I, I, I was looking at my left and my right. I, I'm like, ride my dick now, ride it. And I'm sitting there and I had... Dude, guys, I've never done this before. I, I'll probably never do it again. I had this hot ass Lachina fucking riding my dick while I'm trying to steer on the fucking interstate at the same time and people are passing us and she's fucking riding the shit out of me, dude. It was the fucking awesomest thing ever. <laughs> I didn't crash Frost. Frost, it was fucking awesome, dude. That's one of my fucking sex capades. Uh, you guys can clip that. I've got uh, a, a lot of more. I'm not saying to be proud of that. Um, uh, uh, but, uh, this is real shit guys. You can't make this up. I had her fucking ride me in her own fucking seat in her car while I was driving down the fucking interstate. It was the craziest fucking shit. It was so awesome. <laughs> oh my God, dude. It was so fucking cool. <laughs> Now, there, 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 there's a caveat to that chat. I was also divorced and still going through my divorce at that time. Frost, you want to know what makes us even fucking crazier? Is every 15 minutes I had to blow into a fucking blow and go because when I was going through my divorce, I got my first DUI. The only DI, uh, DUI. It's not my first. It's the only um DUI I've ever got. It used to be called uh, DWI when I was growing up, driving while intoxicated. For those of you old heads, you know that. Now it's called DUI, driving under the influence. I don't know why they changed this shit. I don't know. But before it was DUI, it was DWI. Anyways, uh, as if my life couldn't get any shittier when I was going through my divorce, one night I got pulled over and uh, I had too much to drink. You know, I did the fucking... Okay, for the, those of you guys who don't know, the reason why uh, police officers do a, a, what's called a field sobriety test is because they can't legally give you a breathalyzer until they've had you pull over for at least 15 minutes. So all the fucking field sobriety test, it, it fucking doesn't mean shit. You can pass all that with flying colors. If you blow more than a .08 in most states, you're drunk, they're going to take you to detox, you're going to jail. And I went to detox. I went to jail and I was only three blocks away from the girl's house that I was going to smash. She was a passenger in my seat. 
There's some, I got some crazy fucking stories for you guys. Let's get back to the other one I was talking about. Uh, I have never done that before, guys. Uh, I just, I, I whipped my dick out. I was hard as fuck. I'm like, I want you to ride this dick. And I'm going to sit in the fucking driver's seat. And I'm going to drive while you ride my dick. And she did. And it was fucking awesome. All right. How did I get the courage to do shit like that? I don't know. Because when I was growing up, I didn't have that kind of courage. Okay. I'm not the type of person when I'm with you and you're my date, I'm going to pull my pants down and say, I'm hard as fuck. Do you want to ride this dick? Okay. You're going to ride it while we go on the fucking interstate. <laughs> but I did, man. Dude, when you go through that kind of fucked up shit, there ain't nothing that fucking affects you anymore, guys. There ain't nothing. There's nothing that's going to affect you more than when you're going through a divorce and you got probation and you got court and you can't see your uh, kids, all that shit like that. Once you start going through that, you're like, what the fuck matters? I don't give a fuck. Not that you're out there looking to hurt people, but you lower your inhibitions. Does that make sense? Yeah, Frost. Oh, dude, it was, fu it was fucking crazy, dude. Uh, look, I must have gave her the 10 dick. Because for a woman to drive four hours to pick me up, to drive four hours back to her place for me to smash, and then for her to take my ass four hours back to my house and have to drive four fucking hours back to her place, I think I give her the 10 dick, guys. Okay, I'm pretty sure that's fucking safe to assume. How many women are going to travel four years, four years, four hours to see your fucking ass? Dude, I was fucking like uh, honored. I'm like, holy shit, what the fuck did I do? I was honored. She's like, I told her, look, I really want to see you, but my car's fucked up. I, I, I honestly can't. She's like, if I come down and get you, would you do it? I'm like, fuck yeah. Fuck yes, I will. Who's going to turn that the fuck down? Frost, can you imagine a woman traveling four hours to get your ass just to travel back to get fucked, to fucking take your ass back four hours again and drive four hours back? Dude, I, I don't know what the fuck I did right, but I must have fucking hit that pussy right. <laughs> Frost, I got some crazy fucking stories, dude. <laughs> oh, dude, it was so fucking fun. Uh, I'm not telling you guys to go do that. Look, I had a lot of fun. I will talk to you guys about it. I will talk to you guys about my experiences. Um, I had a lot of fun. Please don't go do shit like that. As a matter of fact, in the world that we live in today, and I'm very fucking sorry for a lot of you guys, a lot of you guys will never even know what the fuck that even means. You'll, you guys will never even come close to experiencing anything like that because most people today can't stand to fucking look at each other. Men and women, we are not the fuck okay. We are not okay. I've got stories, and if my stories uh, depress you guys, my bad. It's not my intentions. I had a fucking fun time, all right? I was very sexually fucking active. I was very physically fit. I was loyal to my wife. I've got sons. I've got stories. I've got shit. Okay. I'm 44 years old, guys. I've lived a lot of fucking life in my fucking 44 years. I'm glad to share it with you guys. I'm not making any of that up, uh, by the way, guys. Uh, that, that's actually a fucking true thing. Uh, she was riding my fucking dick. And I'm sitting there looking to the left or the right. She's like, oh, my God, I can't believe I'm doing this. I'm like... People are looking at us when they pass. I'm like, oh, just, just, look, just keep going. Oh, shit. Fuck, I'm going to fucking come. Keep going. Fuck. Oh, shit. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it was so fucking awesome. It was so fun. I've had a lot of amazing fucking experiences. Concert hopping, being in the fucking military, going to war, being married, being in college, being divorced. I've got a lot of fucking experiences, guys. <laughs> when I pass, guys, when I pass, the one thing I can't say is that uh, you guys probably see memes about it. Damn, that was a wild fucking ride. I'm telling you guys, it was a wild fucking ride. I don't have any regrets. When I pass, regret is the fucking... All right, let me give you guys another piece of fucking uh, wisdom here. I would rather guy I, I would rather have you guys go out there and get your heart broken 
than to never have experienced it at all. I would rather you guys go out there, try to do what you can with the time that you got, with the person that you are. And even if it gets fucking completely fucking waylaid back in your face, the last thing I want for you guys, the last thing I want is for you guys to look in the mirror and have regret because you never fucking tried. Now, I can tell you that it's not worth it. Frost can say it's not worth it. Race can say it's not worth it. And we have all the examples in the book. But I would rather you guys still go try and fail than ever look at yourself and have any type of regret. Because regret is stronger than any fucking bad decision you ever made. Regret, even if, if, if it was part of every uh, bad decision you made, that's any experience that you have the thing that you're going to think about the most when you get lost in your own mind is fucking anything that you regret i don't want you guys to go through regret i would rather have you guys go through some shit and get your heart broken than to ever wonder i never did shit so uh i don't know what anything is and that's hard for me to fucking say guys because i don't want your fucking heart to get broken but god damn it if i could tell you guys right now the difference between getting your heart fucking broken which mine has been or regretting not having ever doing anything to have the chance to get your heart broken, which shouldn't make any sense. I would rather guys, I would rather you guys have your heart broken. I don't want you guys to look in the mirror and always wonder what if I don't want you guys to do that because as men, we get lost in our own thoughts. We look at ourselves every day in the fucking mirror. Not everybody is going to fucking be on a father's honors channel or on a rigs channel or on a frost channel. We go through shit that we don't talk about here, all right? It's hard to look at yourself in the mirror every day and wonder, am I missing out on anything? Am I doing the right thing? And who the fuck is this fucking person looking at me? Am I happy with the fucking man looking uh, back at me right now? I've been there. A lot of you guys have been there. If you haven't, you're going to get there. Because if you can't be happy with the person staring back at you in the fucking mirror, man, you got some fucking problems, man. It's okay. It's okay to have fucking problems. It's okay to have fucking issues, guys. It's okay to be weak. It's okay to be vulnerable. It's not okay to be weak and vulnerable for extended periods of fucking time, but you guys get what I'm saying. It's okay. At least on my channel, it's okay. We fucking have problems. We have emotions. We have vulnerability. Shit like this does fucking happen to men. Period. End of fucking story. I love laughing with you guys. I love telling you guys about my stories and shit. <clears throat> but at the same time, I do what I do because I know what it's like to be fucked up. I know what it's like to be. I don't want to wake up tomorrow. Hopefully, if God blesses me, I pass away in my fucking sleep tonight. I, I've been there, guys. I've actually thought shit like that. Instead of being happy to be alive. And to uh, live to see another day. To live to be uh, a human being that's six feet above ground. I know what that shit's like, guys, because there's people out there who would give everything to see one of their loved ones again who aren't here. So I try to be humble. I try to appreciate the lights coming on, you know, uh, the uh, uh, um, trash disposal guys who I, I'm, I'm friends with. I go out there and I shake their hand all the time. Uh, the utility guys, the grocery setters, uh, the grocery cashiers. I try to be thankful for all the shit that I can all the time, but I also know what it's like to be like, I don't want to fucking be here no more. I don't want, I, I don't want to fucking be part of this life no more. Fuck this. This, this is stupid. This is before COVID and all that shit, guys. When I was going through my divorce and I couldn't see my kids, let alone COVID, let alone my buddies fucking killing themselves. I was just like, I don't want to fucking be part of this world no more because I just don't, I don't feel like I fit in at all. I, I uh, Even though I'm surrounded by people, I feel alone. I, I'm alone right now. I'm alone in my fucking thoughts. I'm alone in this shit. Uh, uh, I can sit there and be extroverted, guys. I can be happy as fuck around you guys, period. And you guys can't tell shit about me. I can do that. But inside, I'm, I'm fucked up just like the rest of you guys. I'm just as fucked up as you guys. Where, why wake up tomorrow? Uh, look at yourself in the mirror. Like, uh, are you happy with where you're at? Where are you going? Well, no. <laughs> I mean, I am. 
but you know, you're always going to question yourself. There's always going to be shit that you guys are going to question all the time. Like frost frost. If you're still there, you're bodybuilding. Your body will never fucking be good enough. No matter how jacked you get, no matter how ripped you get, it will never fucking be enough period. It will never be okay. Now there's a, there's pros and cons to this guys. Let me explain both. The pros is, is that you never are satisfied. You keep fucking, you got to keep fucking uh, building yourself and get better and better and better. Like you're not there yet. The con is, is that you're not being proud of yourself for building, uh, you know, in this example, the body that you did. And uh, no matter what, it's like, I can do better, 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 better. Yes, you can. And yes, you should have that mindset, but you got to balance that and be happy and proud of where you've come from, uh, where your body is now. Does that make sense? You have to balance this shit. Like uh, I'm proud uh, of how far I've come as a man and as a father and to have the patience that I do guys, because I am not a patient man. I'm patient, but I'm not patient to go through the shit that I have uh, uh, to, to still be able to talk to you guys, to still be able to share with you guys, to still be able to smile, all that shit. I'm very thankful for this shit. Teaching my cons, uh, teaching my cons, teaching my cons. What the fuck is a con? Teaching my sons how to cook, how to box, how to weight train, all that stuff. I love all of it. Talking with you guys. I love this shit. I fucking love this shit. But I also want you guys to, uh, learn from this shit because eventually, there's going to be a time where, uh, I don't know how to say this without sounding arrogant. There's going to be a time where Father Saunders doesn't make videos anymore. So I want you to take your take the time, learn from me, uh, get something out of what I'm talking about. Uh, that's how I look at it when I'm like hanging out with my sons. Eventually, I'm not going to be able to do that anymore. Uh, just like when I had to put my dog to sleep uh, the other week, one of my dogs. Uh, Everything that I could do as far as petting her and, and you know, hanging out with her. Every time I went upstairs, I pet. I do that because one day I'm not going to be able to pet anymore. One day they're just not going to be here. Uh, uh, whenever my mom shows up, I love you, Ma. Go up, give her a hug, and I kiss her on her forehead probably three, four times a day whenever she does show up. Because one day, guys, I'm not going to be able to hug my mother anymore or kiss her on the forehead. I've already experienced that with my uh, father. One day that shit's not going to be there. The shit that annoys us too, guys, and I'm guilty of it, whether it's banging on a freaking uh, dish, it's uh, them running the hell around or putting fingerprints on your uh, newly clean windows and all that shit. One day you're not going to have that anymore. One day you will never experience that again. You don't think about it at the time, but I promise you, you'll think about it later. I would rather you guys just appreciate what's going on with the time. I don't feel guilty when I had to see uh, the life leave the eyes of uh, my little chihuahua, uh, it really fucking sucked. But here's the thing, guys. It really fucking sucked. At the same time, it made me very happy. And I, don't, I know that doesn't make sense. It really sucked. No matter what, guys, uh, I've had 12 dogs in my life, and I've seen 11 of them. Uh, pass or be put down or combination of both it never gets easier chat it never fucking gets easier the only time an animal breaks your heart is when they pass away the only time an animal a pet a dog a bird a cat whatever it is the only time they break your heart is when they fucking pass away <clears throat> uh but i uh these two uh ladies that were in there uh, they had a catheter in my dog and whatnot. Uh, you're, you're not allowed to be in there for the catheter, but you can go in after. I had my St. Bernard in there with me. Uh, I took her with me because I wanted her to be able to smell her, quote, unquote, say goodbye. I wanted her to just be there. My St. Bernard's doing uh, fantastic, by the way. She's acting like nothing happened. Uh, she's either really good at hiding it or, you know, I don't know. Here's the thing. I looked at those two ladies. I said, this has got to be one of the shittiest parts of your job. Thank you for being in here. I had one hand on my dog uh, while they were injecting whatever it is that they inject. And uh, they have a stethoscope 
uh, they put it on your dog's heart and then they uh, tap you or they tell you, uh, you know, your dog's gone. <clears throat> Where was I going with this? Give me a second, guys. Let me let me, let me collect my thoughts here real quick. Uh, fuck, where the fuck was I going with this? Damn it, Chad. I had a really good thing I was going to make. I had a really good, uh, damn it. I had a really good, uh, example here. What the fuck was I talking about? Rebel, thank you for showing up. Thank you, sir. Rebel, thank you. Oh, here's what I was going to say, guys. When that dog, my dog, passed away, I looked at the uh, two nurses that were there, and I said, uh, this has got to be the shittiest part of your job. I also looked at them and said, at the same time, I want you guys to know that uh, I'm thankful for what you're doing. They probably had no idea what the fuck to think when I said that. I'm thinking, well, how the fuck can this guy be fucking thankful? Because it lets me know that I can still feel. If you guys don't think you can feel, I want you guys to have a cat or a dog for, you know, 11, 12 years. I want you guys to go watch them have uh, the life leave their eyes and tell me that you don't get emotional. If you don't get emotional on something like that, then you truly can't feel you're fucked up. I, I know I'm fucked up. And uh, I still uh, uh, got emotional. So I thank them because I'm like, uh, you guys give me proof that I can still feel. Does that make any fucking sense to you guys? I thank the people who ended my suffering dog's life because it made me feel like I can still fucking feel. I don't know. It's all fucked up, man. I'm going to go take a piss. I'll be back. When I come back, guys, we are two hours. Jesus, fuck. I'm good at waffling. <laughs> I'm going to uh, uh, take a piss. When I come back, I'm going to open up the chat for anyone that wants to join. I really don't have anything to talk about tonight. Rebel, thank you so much for stopping by. Have a good night, sir. Uh, you guys need to thank Rebel Against Defeat, this guy right here. This guy right here. It's because of him that I'm making uh, content, guys. <clears throat> Rebel convinced me to make content. He actually asked me multiple, multiple times. I want to have your story on my channel. Multiple times. I finally came out. Not came out of the closet. You guys are fucking gay. That's what you guys were fucking thinking. I guarantee it. No, uh, this was back in 2020. I think it was uh, Halloween of 2020. It'll be four years ago this Halloween. Absolutely fucking insane. Uh, one fast stack was there too. I told my entire fucking uh, divorce story. Uh you guys probably can even look at it now because Rebel's channel got fucking deleted. That's why you guys see Rebel uh, Against Defeat 2.0. The other channel that was on has fucking been deleted. But uh, anyways, thank him because without Rebel Against Defeat. By the way, guys, he's in his, uh, he's 50 or in his 50. He does not look 50. Rebel, you look like you're my age or younger. You look like you, you just turned 40, but he's fucking 50, guys. I mean, he doesn't look 50, at least not to me. I'm going to go take a piss. I'll be right back, guys. I'm going to open up the chat. Michelle. Tell, tell them in the chat, Michelle, what is that quote you did again? Because that shit's fucking hilarious. I'll be right back.
What the fuck, chat? What the fuck? Brad, thank you. Thanks for stopping by. I want you guys to uh, subscribe to Rebel Against Defeat 2.0's channel. Uh, it's because of him that I'm doing the fucking stupid shit. Well, it's not stupid. I'm doing the fucking crazy shit that I'm doing right now. Uh, because he convinced me. Uh, the story I got, uh, told you guys about the Latina on uh, Interstate 80 is very true. I can't make that shit up, guys. My mind's not that creative. Uh, it's a reality. It was fucking awesome. It was fun. It was fucking fantastic. Uh, but that is one of the stories. <laughs> uh, let me go back here. The damn split tail that I pulled would even make fucking frost blush. <laughs> Everybody in the chat right now, um, you guys want to see my St. Bernard? You guys want to say hi to my St. Bernard? Let me know in the chat. You guys want to say hi to my St. Bernard? St. Bernard is still up. I will uh, let you guys uh, look at that magnificent fucking beast if you guys want. This is very funny. Goats love bitches. Gooses love ganders. Everybody spoons. Father motherfucking flanders. <laughs> I'm the big spoon. You guys are the small one. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. You ain't spooning me. I'm spooning you. Period. If this is going to happen, if this has got to happen, I pray, chat, that this never happens. I pray. I'm the big spoon. You ain't spooning my ass. It's not going to fucking happen. <laughs> we got 12 of you motherfuckers here. Before I open up the chat, right before I open up the chat, uh, if you guys want to see my St. Bernard, let me know in the chat. I did that. I did that, and my PC suffered greatly for it. It suffered greatly. I, you know, I had to, uh, I had to make workarounds to make that motherfucker work. The shit we're doing right now, I had to make workarounds. <laughs> All right, we're gonna go fucking see uh, Saunders Saint Bernard here. That's what we gotta fucking do. Then we're gonna come back down and open up the chat. Oh shit. No, I got to plug that back in because I can't see what the fuck I'm doing because my fucking computer's fucking broke. Hold on, Chad. Give me one second here. <laughs> there we go. All right. Y'all are coming with me, motherfucker. Y'all are fucking coming with me. Fuckers. All right, here we go. I have my son Dustin vacuum the entire house today. I paid him 20 bucks for it. None of us would have got that in our time, but I appreciate it, so I paid him. Hi, Nardy. What are you doing? What are you doing? How do you even... Okay, here you go, chat. How do you sit and not sit at the same time. Like your back legs are sticking out. We can see them. Your back legs. Come here. Come here. Come here. What are you doing? You got half your body outside. The other half is still on the, still on the couch. Chat needs to know that this is very, very common with you. What do you want to do? All right, come here. Come on. Come on. There you go. She's got really bad back legs, guys. Really bad back legs. I want you to say hi to the chat. Tell them hi. Tell them hi. <sighs> You're a party girl with purple band. You're a party girl with purple bandana. Yes, you are. Okay, okay. I got you. I got you. You're a good girl. 
You're the best bro. I got the best bro. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. I know you want to go to bed. Okay, I'll get out of your fucking way. She's like, fuck you, dad. Get out of my I fucking worry, son of a bitch. Fuck that again. Hold on. Before we go downstairs, touch that again. Nardy. Nardy. Come here. Nardy. Nardy. Come here, you. <laughs> what are you doing? Where are you going? <laughs> what are you doing? Where are you going? You're such a good girl. Oh, okay. She's going to go to bed. She's like, fuck you, dad. I'm going to bed. I'm going to go walk over here. This carpeted area, and you can fuck off, Dad. And I'll be like, "All right, I'm gonna go ahead and fuck off." <laughs> Dogs are the shit. Animals are fucking awesome. However, guys, when she does pass away, uh, it's gonna be a while before I get dogs again. My next two dogs, if I do do that, if I do do, <laughs> I said do do. <laughs> I said fucking doo doo trap. If I do that, uh, my next two, I talked with uh, Brown Eyed Shorty and Frost about this. My next two is probably going to be a combination of a Corgi and French Bulldog if I ever uh, do it again. But man, guys, it's fucking so hard. It's so hard to put, uh, put your uh, animals down. God damn, is it hard. I never thought that my Chihuahua would pass before my purebred uh, St. Bernard. Any of you guys, any of you guys that have ever owned animals, you guys know that purebreds do not live longer than fucking mixed breeds. It just doesn't fucking happen. You guys that also know me, if I were to give an average age on all dogs, it's between 8 and 12. I've raised 12 dogs. When they have passed, the average is between 8 and 12. I've had some pass before 8. I've had some live longer than 12. But if you take the average, it's 8 to 12. If you have a purebred, if you get to 12, that's actually fucking amazing. Purebreds don't live longer, and it doesn't make any sense, Chad. You would think that a purebred would live longer than a mixed because it's pure, you know, quote unquote pure. Uh, but that's not the way in the dog world. <laughs> Purebreds do not live longer than mixed breeds, period, end of story. The oldest dog I've ever owned was 15. Uh, the youngest dog that I had to put down was uh, about one because she got uh, parvo because we didn't give her a parvo shot. So here's when we talk about dogs and vaccines and shit. My uh, youngest did die of parvo because my parents decided not to pay to get a parvo shot. And she actually died of parvo. So there is an example of why certain vaccines. Guys, I'm not anti-vax, guys. I've been vaccinated. I'm not anti-vax. I'm anti-fucking COVID-19 vax. I'm anti-COVID-19 vax. I've had other vaccinations. I've had tetanus, MMR, whatever the fuck it is. I've had vaccinations. Okay, I am not anti-vax. I am anti-COVID-19 fucking vax. That probably just fucking struck my channel. We'll find out tomorrow, I guess, or today. Tomorrow. It's only 11.18. It's only 11.18 at night, motherfuckers. Holy shit. Did you guys see my dog? Did you guys see the doggy? Yeah, uh, she has not changed her behavior, believe it or not, Chad. Um, she spent many years of her life with my little chihuahua. Those of you guys that know me know that I had a chihuahua I had to put down. Uh, she has not changed her behavior. I was there with her when she uh, passed. I had my uh, St. Bernard that you guys just saw in there with me because I wanted her to smell her both before and after. I wanted her to at least smell it and, 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 and look at her. Um, I don't know if there's any, <clears throat> we're not dogs. I don't know if that has any significance, but that's what I felt was right. I had my St. Bernard in there to say goodbye to the Chihuahua. 
and uh, uh, both before she's still alive and after when she's gone. And I'm telling you guys right now, my, my chihuahua, she couldn't even hold her head up. I had to, I had to cradle her the, the entire time until we got there. Um, they had to put a catheter in her. They don't let you uh, be there for the catheter because they got to like do whatever the fuck it is, catheter. Once that's done, they call you in. And then there's two different uh, fluid injections that they give them. And then they have a stethoscope and uh, they put it on their heart. And then they let you know when uh, there's no more heartbeat. Oh, it fucking sucks, guys. That shit never gets easier, guys. I'm a combat vet and I still get fucking emotional when I got to fucking put a dog down. Oh, it's fucking horrible, guys. It's fucking. I hope you guys don't have to experience that. And if you have, you know where I'm coming from. If you haven't, um, uh, if you haven't, it's uh, it's something that you don't forget. Okay, because I know a lot of the times I really don't fucking. Uh, I feel dead inside probably 90% of the time. I don't feel like I, I, I'm here. I don't feel like I fucking actually feel anything. To laugh with you guys in my chat or on other chats, to spend time with my sons, uh, to get emotional when my dogs uh, pass away, it lets me know that I can still fucking feel. Because I... I, I I really don't, guys. But uh, you guys are part of that equation, so I uh, I appreciate you. Thank you. <laughs> when I laugh with you guys, uh, or if I get emotional uh, putting the dog down, I'm like, oh, thank God, I can still feel. Dude, it, it's actually, it actually makes me happy because I'm like, fuck, okay, I can still feel. I can still shed a tear. I can still laugh. Okay, we're good. <laughs> How many of you guys have shed a tear or laughed? In the last six months, like genuinely fucking laughed, genuinely fucking cried. That shit is rare, guys. As men, I know it's rare. Maybe it's not for some of you guys. Maybe you guys have done it once a month, every month for fucking the last six months. I, I get where you guys are coming from. I know what it's like to fucking suck, to not feel or to feel like you don't feel or to, uh, you know, put your animal down. Or to see your father die, uh, to have to pick up your father, to have to close your father's eyes, uh, to have uh, military, you know, buddies uh, kill themselves, to have coworkers killing themselves. Look, this life is is fucked up, guys. It's fucking is fucked up. It's fucked up. This shit's fucked the fuck up. I can't tell you guys how to get through it. I can only tell you if you give me the chance how I got through it. I don't have a fucking book on this shit. All right. Uh, I'm still trying to deal with it every day. There is no perfect answer on how to be a parent, how to get through loss, how to be a combat vet, how to be divorced, how to lose parents. There ain't no fucking book on this shit, guys. There ain't no fucking book on this. I can only tell you what uh, I went through and maybe what I went through can relate to you or help you in a way that otherwise you didn't, uh, you would have never thought of. Does that make sense? It better fucking make sense. Why are you LMAO? Okay, here we go. Oh, okay. My bad, guys. I'm going to uh, open up the chat here, but I want to—I want to tell you guys that you guys, you guys, look, man, half the shit in my life I can't explain. I'm still trying to figure this shit the fuck out. I'm still trying to fucking figure life out. It's okay, guys. I'm there. I'm telling you right now. I don't fucking know. I don't know what tomorrow's gonna bring. Um, but I also want you guys to know that uh, you're not alone. You're not alone, dude. I think about the shit every fucking day. <laughs> I laugh because it keeps my sanity. You need to fucking laugh because it keeps your fucking sanity. If if it wasn't for laughter, I probably wouldn't even be here. All right, uh, give me a second here. Uh, let me uh, copy and paste that. 
I know Jesus. I have God in my heart, man. Jesus even looks at me. He's like, dude, this guy's fucked up. <laughs> Angels, come here. Here's what you got. They're like, no, no, Jesus, God, please. No, not him. Anybody but Jared Saunders. No, you got him. Like, oh, Jesus, God, Jesus, God. Uh, I have to fucking be the uh, angel of Jared Saunders. Yes. Oh, my God. Okay. Everybody else is praying for me. He's like, oh, my God. Good luck, dude. <laughs> good fucking luck. <laughs> oh, you motherfuckers. Hold on here. Uh, paste. Here is my stream yard for you guys that want to join. If I can get it to work right. There it is. Okay. I don't need Jesus. I've got Jesus. Okay. I don't need Jesus. I've got Jesus. I love Jesus. I love God. I believe in Jesus and God. I just know that I'm fucked the fuck up. And Jesus and God are probably looking at me like, uh, this is an example of uh, what I created. Um, um, I'm going to let you guys judge. Uh, I'm just going to uh, play the video. Here is a culmination uh, created by Billy Bon Bob of uh, uh, Father Saunders Livelihood. Stand by. It's going to get really fucking weird. It's going to get really crazy. <laughs> <laughs> that's probably what God's saying. He's like, look, man, this one here, this one that I created. Okay. I'm not telling you that I'm proud. I'm not telling you that I fucked up, but this is a special fucking case. Okay. This is God talking. God's like, look, dude, uh, this shit's fucking, this fuck crazy. I have to give this to a special angel because I don't even want to deal with this shit. <laughs> Welcome to the chat, Post Not Clarity. Hey, what, what's up? What's up? Let me mute the stream. Welcome to... Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Got to mute the stream. Yep. Uh, I had to learn that the hard way. <laughs> yeah. You're about you to doing? play something. Oh, I'm doing good, man. You're about to play a video or something, weren't you? I was? I thought you were. Uh... Never mind. Uh, uh, what I, whatever I did 10 minutes ago, post I want to know that I don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> no, I hear you, man. Yeah. Um, I was just, I was thinking you were talking earlier about regrets. Uh, you know, obviously I'm in my thirties. You're, you know, you're in your forties and, uh, it just made me think about it. But a lot of the, a lot of the younger guys, you know, they, it, actually it's not even the younger guys, it's the older guys too. You know, you hear, I hear guys even in their, even older than you, you know, they talk about regrets and, you know, it's, it, a lot of times it comes down to women. You hear a lot of, a lot of guys are like, Oh, there was this girl in high school and I still regret. It, here's the thing about that. You know, if you, uh, if you, you know, blow your chance on some girl in high school, it hurts for a while. You know, you might regret it and go, Oh, what if I did this? Here's the thing. When you get to be in your thirties and forties, she would be too. <laughs> Can you, say, can you say that again? The okay. Last, last I was going to say that if you, you know, there's a lot, you know, the, the guys who regret, you know, missing a chance with some girl in high school. The thing is, the girls in your class are the same age you are. So when you get to your 30s and 40s, she also will be in her 30s and 40s. Yep. So some uh, regrets are okay to have if you mess something up. As long as you try. If you don't try, you know, you you that's different. That's what I'm talking about. Um, those of us that have tried and have been heartbroken, I can't sit there and look because, man, we've had our fucking hearts broken, man. Like uh, mm -hmm. the, first, the first time I got my heart broken, it took me six months to get over that bitch. Six fucking months. I spent every night fucking like, you know, uh, broken. Six months broken. Because uh, the first woman that I fell in love with uh, broke up with me. We were together for two years. It took me six months to get over her, dude. Like I couldn't, I couldn't think about nothing else. It was fucking horrible. Because I had this Disney fantasy land. Like if you do the right thing, if you respect this, if you do this, if you do that, 
and my mom and dad were married and I got to see what a successful marriage was. I didn't know any better. Obviously, this was back in 1995 when I was 16. Yeah, I'm fucking, I'm old, dude. <laughs> uh, oh, man, it fucking, it broke my fucking heart, dude. It fucking broke my heart. And uh, when I was sitting there talking to you guys about, I would rather you guys uh, try and fail and have your heart broken, even though I don't want that for any of you. I would rather have you guys try and have your fucking heart broken than to ever look at yourself as a man in the mirror and wonder what if I never did nothing. I never went after this. I never um, uh, felt what it was like to uh, kiss a woman, to uh, fall in love with a woman, to have my heart tingle, my dick tingle, to have my heart broken, all that shit. I would rather have you guys face the hurt of such a breakup than to look at yourself in the mirror and wonder what if, because you never had that uh, experience. That, totally up. agree. Totally okay. agree. Now would, here's my question to you is which ones hurt more? Is it the one are your, the things that hurt more, the things you did try for or the things you didn't try for? I already know the answer. I, I, I'm telling you right now, as a man, I would rather you guys get your heart broken than never experience. Uh, if you had the chance to do the shit that we talk about that got our hearts broken, because I guarantee that pain is going to be even more than getting your heart broken. Getting your heart broken is fucking terrible. It fucking sucks. I don't wish it on anybody, but I would rather take that than look at myself in the mirror and be like, I never tried. What if now we'll never know. Does that make any sense? Yeah, totally. And I've, you know, we all have to learn. Most of us learn through trial and error unless we get to see somebody else go through it. So, you know, I had to learn how to deal with women just like the rest of us, but, and I've made mistakes, you know, but you, I forgot where I was going with this, but it's when you, when you try with, oh, yeah, when you try with a woman and you mess up, yeah, that was a, that was a Saunders moment. But when you try and you mess up, you go, well, shit, I just learned something. Oh, well, I screwed up. Maybe it will be better next time, you know. But if you don't try, you don't learn, and you – I don't know where I'm going with that. My experience in life, man, uh, Art Vero, thank you for stopping by. I haven't seen you in a fucking hot minute. Thank you for stopping by. With my experience, as painful as all this shit has fucking been, and it's been fucking hard, okay? Uh, you guys know what it's like to live a hard life. If you're in my chat, you guys know what it's like to fucking struggle, okay? I'm assuming that. Assumption is the mother of all fuck-ups. But I'm assuming if you're in my chat, you know what it's like to fucking hurt. You know what it's like to be without. You guys know what it's like to suck about that. Uh, I would rather you guys know that than to have the chance to experience it and uh, 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 turn it away. I would rather guys, look, I don't want your guys' heart and your soul to be fucking broken. Your kids to be taken from you. Uh, 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 charges to be laid against you, uh, probation, protection orders, restraining orders, loosened properties. Uh, I'm a recipient of everything I just said. It's really hard to sell that to you guys because you're like, uh, I think I'd rather not experience that. <laughs> I, I, I get you. I do. <laughs> but at the same time, even though I experienced all that shit, I would rather have done that than look at myself in the mirror and be like, uh, what if? Yeah, think, and that's... Oh, go I ahead. Think, I think the pain of what if, post not. I'm trying to put myself... I'm trying to be empathetic here. As somebody who's been divorced and a combat vet, lost their kids, lost properties, I'm trying to put myself in that scenario. I would rather have gone through that than have to look at myself and be like, what if? I never tried. I think that, I think that would be more fucking painful in the long run than me going through what I did. Yeah, totally. And I, you know, I went, I was, I was officially MGTOW for about three years. You know, I'm not technically now, you know, I'm, I'm still practically a monk, but not quite. I love the lifestyle. I still live it for the most part, but the, for the, it's, it's different for guys like us. We've been there and we've done that for a guy who hasn't been there. I don't know. I don't know what to tell him, you know? Like for somebody in their early twenties, I don't know if I should if to I don't know if I can honestly tell them don't try at all. Even of course today is different than when we grew up as well. So it's a lot easier to preach that lifestyle now. Well, uh 
we got one of my elders. This was a guy that's probably a decade my elder, which means he's got a signed copy of the fucking Bible because I'm old as fuck. <laughs> so this guy that I got, <laughs> this guy, <laughs> this guy that I got quoted right here, I give him shit all the time because he gives me even more shit. He's even older than me. We've got 60-year-olds, 50-year-olds, 40-year-olds, 30-year-olds, 20-year-olds, and fucking teenagers in this fucking sphere, guys. There's every demographic. Every demographic is in here. I still can't believe that I talked to 19, 20-year-olds, and my oldest son's about ready to be 16. I've talked with a couple who were 19 or 20. I've talked with a lot of you who are late 20s, mid 20s, uh, 30s. I've talked with a lot of you who are older than me. You're almost fucking 60. It is fucking insane. This is what uh, diversity, uh, um, this is the correct ideation of uh, fucking diversity. diversity. Yes, this is true, thought. good diversity. Diversity of thought, diversity of age are good fucking things. That's true diversity. We're not talking about diversity in the way that, uh, uh, you know, modern fucking audiences does. True fucking diversity is diversity of thought, which is what created this chair I'm sitting in, that bed I sleep in, this roof over my head. It's because people fucking bounced ideas off each other and fucking created the shit that we have now. That's you tell me a more diverse community than than our you know online male space as I call it. What 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 community is more diverse than ours? The rain. Now mainstream media would tell you that uh, uh, opposite, but dude, right here, what we got right here, we've got a fucking diverse fucking group of people like the right version of diverse. We've got diversity of thought, diversity of age, in this fucking chat, and this chat is still good to go. We interact, we build, we we uh, help each other, all that shit. This is the correct definition of fucking diversity. Does that make sense? Post not. Can you please take control of the chat? I'm gonna go upstairs, grab a drink, and uh, uh, no, I'm not gonna do that. I was gonna say play with my dick because it was funny, but uh -huh. I'm, not gonna, I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> I'm saving the chair while you're gone. I'm taking that. that chair. Look at it. Oh, my God. Saving Look. the fucking chair. Here we go. I'm, I'm actually going to turn this shit off so you guys can even do it further. Here you go. Guys, we got to help Chair Saunders. Look Look at the chair. Chair Saunders. Come on. Talk to us, chair. <laughs> what we got going on here? Yeah. Uh, token. Yeah. We're talking about soap. Psycho soap, good dude. We having fun in the chat. I guess I get to stare at the chair along with you guys now. Moist. Yeah, moist. You gotta kill me. Moist. Yeah, I don't know. I just hopped on here. He always does this to me. He'll always as soon as I come in, he's like, Man, I gotta go take a whiz again. Like my you just took it anyway. Flanders, he likes his chair a lot. <clears throat> this dude goes to the bathroom every five minutes for real, though, don't he? Can you hear me? No. But, yeah, I just wanted to hop on and talk some trash tonight. Another thing that, and I'm, I'm going to talk to him about this when he comes, if he ever comes back. It's, you know, I'm, I'm like I said, I'm in my 30s, and it, it's so weird to now be able to, like, talk to guys younger younger guys because i'm not some old wise man like i'm just some dude but now it's it's getting to the point where like i actually can tell people things and it's really and they listen it's kind of bizarre i don't want to say advice because the worst kind of advice is, is the worst kind of advice is advice but uh, i don't know what other word to use you guys in the chat have a better word for it than advice i'd like to hear it Take it easy, Arvero. <clears throat> but like I was saying earlier, uh, he just he got me thinking about it. It's it's funny, you know. For years, I thought about certain, you know, certain people, like certain girls I could have got with, you know. And you, you you think about it for a while, and you guys in your young twenties, you might be thinking, I don't know, you know, how many are in who will hear this, but 
I, you know, there's probably a lot of guys that think, man, I missed out on this one chance. See, the thing is, when you get to your 30s and your 40s, you realize those those girls would also be in their 30s and 40s, and they would have hit the wall practically as hard as the rest of them do. I've heard that having kids helps that out, but I wouldn't know that. But because I've got several of my buddies now advising. No, I'm not an advisor. <laughs> I like suggestions. Suggestions is a good one. <clears throat> Advice, yes. But yeah, suggestions, I guess, is a good one. Lessons learned probably is the best one. I do not like to speak on things that I have not experienced myself. Yeah, we're taking the chair, guys. We got we got to get this poor chair out of here, especially before Miss Taco Tuesday takes half of it and then the settlement. It, it doesn't matter, Phoenix, and that's it. It really doesn't. And I've spent, like I said, I spent the last three years as a actual MGTOW. It's only recently I've kind of come 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 out of that and moved back into the real world. So the 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 normie world, so to speak. I don't want to call it the real world because it's not. We know that it's uh, literally the opposite. <clears throat> but I've got several guys, buddies who are in you know, the same age as me. And now they've got girls who are 10 years younger than them. <laughs> so high school, high. my point is that for the younger guys, like high school just doesn't fucking matter. And the further you get away from it, it really doesn't matter. But the thing that bugs me is I do see these guys, even now, they're in their 50s and they're still talking about like what happened 30 years ago or whatever. Like, dude, come on, man. I get over that shit. <laughs> <laughs> damn was it a, a turbo vet oh my god that's that's crazy ghost pill <clears throat> turbo vet sound uh, let's see yeah you really uh, even it's, it's not even <clears throat> i imagine what successful endeavors i imagine once you hit your 50s it probably your idg i don't give a shit attitude probably does go to max but even at my age like the things that actually affect me on an emotional or intellectual basis have already significantly dropped from where I was just like 10 years ago. Just the older you get, the more you realize the little shit just doesn't matter. It's, I don't know. I guess you could take it too far, but <clears throat> just it, the little, the little, you don't sweat the little shit anymore. And you can, you can definitely take that too far. <laughs> but life is good man and the thing is this the, the problems that we deal with problems really suck sometimes going through the hard stuff but at the same time if you don't go through the hard shit or I, let me rephrase that if sorry if you do go through the hard shit you appreciate the good stuff so much more so much more <clears throat> ooh How we doing, chair? Chair still good? Saunders, you better bring a drink back for your chair. I hope your chair drinks something besides butt juice. <laughs> that chair drinking butt juice, man. That's horrible. <clears throat> I hear some motherfuckers talking some shit. <laughs> I hear some motherfuckers talking some shit. That's right. No one, no one gives less of a fuck than Chair Saunders. No one gives less of a fuck than fucking shut the fuck up. That's what we're doing. <laughs> Not funny, well, right? Sa Saunders is always toilet maxing. This this motherfucker. Every time I come in here, every thirty seconds, he's like, "Man, I gotta go take another piss." I'm like, "You you just you just did that." <laughs> oh my god! Here we go, guys. Uh, welcome to the chat, and I want you guys to pay attention to his avatar because it's fucking hilarious. Uh, Miguel Outlaw. <laughs> what the fuck is that? <laughs> oh man. <laughs> what the fuck oh. is that, Outlaw? Oh man, what do you think of that? I think it's fucking hilarious. <laughs> Fantastic. 
Look, look at this. Everybody that looks at my fucking uh, green, my dark green, forest green fucking painting, uh, hunter green, forest green, because forest green and hunter green is the best color fucking ever. You guys think that I killed fucking gum? Holy shit, we got 23 guys washed right now. What the fuck did I do? What did I do? I don't know, brother. Why are 23 of you guys watching me? I don't know. You didn't, you didn't see it last night, but I put it in there a couple times. I said that we couldn't see your chair. All we could see was your head and your arms floating because your hair really? shirt was the same color as the wall. My chair is <laughs> the prize, Chad. Okay? My chair is the prize. You guys care more about this fucking chair than you do Father Sanders. <laughs> uh, we're going to welcome that motherfucker. Uh, it looks like it's Paul. Paul, what are you doing? Hey, I'm just chilling with some talk shit. What's up, bro? I decided to go live on a Sunday. It's very awkward. It's not. I know. I've been here. I've been listening. I've been doing the threes and kind of your gay and your prolapse, your cloaca <laughs> and everything, you know. <laughs> we got 22 of you guys watching right now. What the fuck is wrong Last with you? of yours. What the fuck yeah. is wrong with you? 22 of you guys watching me on a Sunday night. <laughs> What the fuck is wrong with you? Uh, <laughs> hot, hot. For no reason, St. Troglodyte, K-Plan, Paul, Ghost Pill, Walt, Phoenix. Save the chairs. Jesus Christ. We get, you know, th this is some crazy shit, guys. Save the motherfucking chairs. Uh, you guys, you guys, you guys, Jesus Christ. On my panel. You guys got to get something off your chest. Go ahead and talk uh, to Saunders here. Char, Char, you're a gay ass German. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Char, we got some. Uh, we got some. Get, Char, okay. God damn it, outlaw, you son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> That's not even the same color of my chair. That's brown. My chair's green. Bro, your chair is moist, 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 moist. No, Man. I don't use the moist shit. And I've actually got kicked off of Brain and String because I didn't sing along with him. He actually kicked my ass mm. off. <laughs> Did he? You didn't, do it. you didn't say moist the right way? I didn't. No, no. I didn't oh, sing man. it. No, I'm not singing it. Brain is like moist, 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 moist. Everybody's singing yeah, moist. Yeah, yeah. That's like Outlaw's thing. I'm like, no, I'm not doing it. Yeah. Brain's like, fuck you. I'm going to kick you. He kicked my ass <laughs> off the chair. <laughs> I'm like, fuck you. Fuck you, Chad. <laughs> fuck you, Braden. And he's got more hair than I do. He's got more hair than me. I'm like, fuck you twice. Why do you have more hair than me, Chad? What the fuck? Fuck your hairline. Fuck your attacked hairline, motherfucker. Uh, no, uh, outlaw. This chair right here. Yeah. That chair uh, is actually uh, the same color of my grandma's chair that I had here at the same time. Mm -hmm. My uh, a TV was a 20 inch uh, CR TV uh, on top of a uh, on top of a uh, uh, fucking desk that I made personally in woods class. That was the same oh, no. color of the chair. That chair you're doing right there, yeah, that yeah. was my grandma's chair. Cool. I took that when she passed oh, away, yeah. and that really sucked because I was 16. I'm like, oh, grandma's gonna be fine. Grandma's got, you want to set, uh, come say hi to grandma in the hospital? Oh, she'll be fine. And she fucking passed the fuck away. Uh, I got her uh, recliner. Yeah. And uh, yeah, dude, uh, that recliner right there was right where I am, facing that way, on top of a stand with a 20 inch CRTV. <laughs> really? Quiet, outlaw. Quiet. Do you guys want to say hi to uh, uh, Bernardi again? Do I got to do that again? It's crazy. Yeah. That okay. chair is a little too bright, though. You know, Saunders' chair is doo-doo brown, right? It's crazy. I was going to say hi to fucking Scruffy, outlaw. You going to say hi to my St. Bernard? What does that chair look like you shot a black light on it? It's oh, My St. Bernard? Dude, I had such a great weekend chat. Um, I had such a great time with my oldest son, my youngest son, and my dog whose back legs are shit, was jumping around having the time of her life. It was so fucking awesome. It's fucking fantastic. Here we go. Hi, Nardi. Chat wants to fucking pet you and say hi to you. Yeah? What do you think about that? What do you think about that? It's a big old puppy. 
Mm-hmm. What do you think? Organic puppy. Mm-hmm. Oh, banana. Yes, you are. Yeah. Look at this. This chat likes you. Look at it. Mm-hmm. Look at the chat, you big 140 pound fucker. Yeah. How you doing? Oh, yeah. 147 pounds at her uh, biggest. She's about 120 something now because her back legs are uh, shot, guys. You guys know this. If you got a big yeah. breed of a dog, um, hip dysplasia and uh, bad back legs. Is very <coughs> it happens. It sucks, but it happens. This is a thousand dollar couch, and she has torn this shit the fuck up, dude. This couch is fucking done. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you fucked it up. You fucked it up, Norny. Thanks, doggo. Thanks, yeah. bro. You Saunders household where chairs go to die. Chairs go to die. And Can't couch. believe what you did, Scruff. <laughs> Look what you did. Look at the no, chat. You know you which, which, Saunders, which piece of furniture you got the worst deal? Your chair or that couch because of that dog? Or your can chair you, because uh, of you? Can you, can you say that again? <laughs> because, uh, I speak English and that was fucking like uh, retard. I don't speak retard. Oh, okay. <laughs> Let me say it like this. We've got it worse. Your chair or the couch? Oh man! Oh shit, man! I think the oh, couch shit. does, man. Paul, I think thing. the couch got it worse. What do you think, girl? I think the couch got it worse. <laughs> like, fuck, you. fuck you, dad. <laughs> oh, oh, what is that? What is that? What is that? Yeah, I love you, girl. <laughs> Chat loves you too. Chat loves animals. Just like dad does. Saunders doesn't speak pre tard, he speaks OG tard. <laughs> tell, tell him, Say, oh. Don't you talk about my dad like that. Tell him, look at him. <laughs> Say, I'm gonna bite the fuck out of you. Oh, she heard that. Tell him. <laughs> see that? You see that shit? Yeah, tell him. Do it, do it again, outlaw. <laughs> 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 That you, dude, that's hilarious when a dog looks at you they're like what the fuck is that <laughs> yeah, huh? if, if a oh, dog man. lives with father saunders and looks at you what the fuck is that you got you know you did something fucking crazy because i do a lot of crazy fucking shit here <laughs> oh man that's funny. probably hard to surprise that dog dude that dog is a fucking shit i cannot believe that my chihuahua passed away before a full-grown purebred St. Bernard does. That shit is not common. That doesn't happen. I love you, girl. Here's what sucks, guys. Uh, those of you guys that know, I had my uh, youngest son here this weekend. Uh, he was here four hours yesterday, or on Friday, and uh, called me at 9 in the morning on Saturday. He's like, Dad, I want to come over again. I'm like, uh, you know, I was really fucked up. I'm like, uh, give me 30 minutes. Let me take a shower. I'll come get you, son. <laughs> Dude, it was awesome. That's the most time I've ever spent with my youngest son since I've been back in their life for almost four fucking years. It was awesome. So when I talk to you guys about quality of time, because you're never going to get the quantity as a father, give me quality. I guarantee. Just give me a couple hours. I guarantee it. I will fucking uh, affect this person's life. I promise you. And uh, we don't have school tomorrow. They're not going to school tomorrow because we have a big fucking shit stove. Uh, shit stove. I just did that. <laughs> shit stove. We got a shit stove, Darty. We got a shit stove of a storm coming tomorrow. Okay. It's called a shit stove. Not a shit show. Shit stove. Shit stove. You go to the shit stove to buy your shit? You go to the shit stove. Okay, we got we got we got bad weather coming here. They already called school off tomorrow. Back when I was growing up, about fucking snow of six inches, and then they'll think about it if the fucking principal can get out of his driveway. We have school. <laughs> I bet when you got that phone call, though, I think I heard you say the last night that you didn't know what to think. Phone call? What phone call? From your from your youngest or your younger son. Uh, like you said, you didn't know what to think, did you? I didn't. I didn't. When he calls, like, Dad, I want to come over. I'm like, uh, uh, how do I respond to that shit? Well, I'll say, I'm not saying this, but I'm thinking, uh, uh, give me give me 30 minutes, son. Call me back at 
30 minutes. Let me go take a shower. <laughs> Let me figure out how to process this. <laughs> well, yeah, because I've never had it, man. I've never had it. Half uh, of you probably want to throw your hands up in victory. Dude, it was awesome. It was awesome. Uh, he was here for eight hours, and then I think he went home at about 7 o'clock yesterday. And then uh, my youngest son, he stayed up with me, and he was part of my stream till 4 o'clock in the morning last night. I deleted that stream. It sucks that I had to do it, but it is what it is. Uh, it was a good stream. We accomplished a lot. We learned a lot. We lived and we, we learned and grew together. But then Dude, I had to go. I had such a good time with you guys. It was fucking fantastic. It was fucking fantastic. Dude, I had so much fucking fun. The fact that I could laugh. Guys, I want you guys to know the fact that I can laugh with you guys on stream. That's a fucking huge thing. Because at one time, I didn't laugh at nothing. Nothing. Nothing you guys did, said, or did. Did, said, or did. Did, said, or did. Did, said, or did. Post not. Did said or did? <laughs> is that is that OG tard or is that retard? <laughs> Motherfuckers, look at these guys. By the way, Paul's well, backstage. Narnie, Nar Nar look at this. Look at this. These, well, these, these this is the company. I don't think you're by your computer though. That's you know, company. that's the company I keep. Look at them. Saunders, I'm sorry that it happened, and I'm sorry to the community that you guys had to see that. That law, you handled yourself better than most people would. Now, I'm not obviously we're not getting into it, but you handled yourself very, very well for that situation. There, you have no reason to apologize, dude. Guys, I want to show you guys this real quick, real quick. Watch this. I'm gonna fuck with her because I know how to fuck with her because I've I've raised her. I'm I'm gonna sit by her and not pay attention to her. You guys are gonna see her get fucking really pissed off because I don't pay attention to her. <laughs> Ready? Ready? Hey guys. How you doing, chat? Can I sit here? Just let me sit here. Can I sit here? No, I, I just want... I just... I, can I sit here? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, chat. Hold on, hold on. Here. Check. Can I just sit here? Let me sit here. Can I sit? Can I, can I just sit here? Relax. It's okay, Nardi. It's okay. Let me just sit here. <laughs> she won't if you sit by her man she will not let you not pet her <laughs> narnie Nar, Nar, narnie look look I'm, I'm i'm live right now look at what you're doing let me just put my arm here can i just relax narnie narnie come on it's okay it's okay let me damn it girl <laughs> Do you know you're live online and chat thinks you're a party girl? You're such a party girl. Let me put my, let me, I just talk to, can I just talk to the, I just want to talk to the chat girl. Let me talk to the chat. Can, let me talk to the chat. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> Dude, she won't let me sit there. She's like, you, you will fucking pet me or I will fucking end you. I will go Cujo, motherfucker. That's what she's saying. <laughs> you, don't know the toll of entry. you don't know what Cujo is. I do. It's a male St. Bernard version of you, and he was fucking insane. Okay? D don't look at me like that. All right. <laughs> Why are you looking at me like that? No, I'm bringing chat. It's my stream. I'll do whatever the fuck I want. <laughs> yeah, I know guys, but it was still Can I sit by you? Or are you going to uh hold on chat? Let's give it one more try here. Can I sit by you? Like I said, I get you out well, but I don't don't sweat it. <sighs> Can I sit by you? I just want to sit here. I don't want to talk. Can I <laughs> no, can I just please? Can I just can I just I just want to sit here. Let me sit here. Chat, you guys are awesome freaking people. We've had a uh, we've had a great <laughs> we've had a great time. Uh, I have a great time talking with you guys. Uh, I just can I put my arm here? Let me put my arm here. You guys have been a, a fantastic uh, addition to uh, 
this uh what do you do? I've never seen you do that before. You, you, you're proving me wrong right now. Chat thinks I'm a fucking weirdo because you're laying on my lap and you're not. <laughs> uh, it, oh, well, hold, hold on, hold on. Chat. <laughs> hold on, Nar, Narnie, give me a second. Give me a second. Can I, can I put my arm here? Thank you. What are you doing, weirdo? Can I, can I go in the other room? Can I pet your paw? Can I? Yeah, no, uh, it, it's okay. I just want to pet your paw. No, no, get your head out of there. Let me do my thing. Narnie, now look, I'm live. Okay, chat is gonna judge me on this shit. Can I? Can I just fucking do my thing? Let Let me put my arm here. You okay? Okay. Here we go. Chat. Hey. <laughs> 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 I love my dogs, guys. I love. I fucking love them. If you guys wanted me to dog shit or cat sit your shit, they're gonna have to go through me. I will fucking kill them before they get to your fucking dogs or your cats. Absolutely, of course I would do that. You wanna know why? Because I think Chat would do that for me with you, Nari. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. No one fucks. With my chest, fucking animals. I will fuck you. Wait. Whoa. I will. <laughs> Not in this chat. Whoa. No. No one fucks with dogs or cats. I will fuck you, dude. I will fucking. I will bend your ass over and fuck you before you get to fuck with any cat or any dog on this chat. I'll, I'll do it. I am not gay, but I will fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> he is going to prevent the dog pill. <laughs> what the fuck? I will, outlaw. If, if your dogs or cats were under attack, yeah, I will fuck them up. And yeah. uh, I would risk getting fucked for people that uh, took me down because I can't take five people. And uh, they're like, we're going to fuck you. I'm going to be like, go ahead. Uh, make to outlaw's dog or his fucking cat's not getting fucked. You can fuck me, but you ain't fucking that dog, and I'm gonna fuck you up after you get done fucking me. This makes no sense, Chad. <laughs> 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 it makes no sense, outlaw. What the fuck are we talking about? <laughs> Paul's backstage, by the way. If you didn't yeah, hear Paul, earlier, I can't see uh, seventy-five percent of my screen because I, uh, I, I, I. Uh, I uh, spooned my laptop, so <laughs> you wow. got to wait till I get back downstairs. Like I can't even. There we go. Now I can see my face. <laughs> <laughs> Give me a second. Give me a second. Hold on, chat. Hold on, panel. Man, we're getting a tour of the kitchen tonight. This is a uh, uh, what's the word behind the scenes. Hell yeah. What the fuck is that? Hmm, Tito's. Oh, shit. Hold on. Hold on, guys. Hold on. Hold on. Why did you get up? Big and old, scruff. Let's put the light on. Let's put the light on. Girl, why'd you get up? Did you want to say hi to Dad? Oh, you want to say hi to Dad, didn't you? Yes, you did. You want to say hi to Dad? You want to say hi to Dad? Tell Chad that you love Dad. No, no, no. Tell him. Tell him. Tell him. Look at him. Look at the chat. Look at him. What are you doing? Tell chat how uh, spoiled you are. I made ring sausage, hash browns, eggs, and I made it in your fucking bowl. This bowl right here. Huh? This bowl, you got to share it with uh, Sage and I tonight. She's spoiled, Chad. She's very fucking spoiled. Let me tell you guys else. Let me let me tell you guys else. Jesus Christ, that makes no sense. Nardi, what are you doing? <laughs> you see this? That is uh, reverse osmosis purified water. That is Iams food. What else do we got, Nardi? Hold on, let's look. Let's look. Let's look. Here we go, chat. Bear with me. I never had this in my life. She's got her own fucking dog door. Her own doggy door. 
Yeah, we're gonna go outside. You gonna follow me? Yeah, she's looking at me like she's guilty. You got your own dog though. You're you're spoiled. You're spoiled. You're lucky. I love your ass. Okay, here we go, Chad. <laughs> this is funny. We're gonna go outside in the backyard. Here's what my St. Bernard has. She's got a football field. Yeah, come on out. There you go, Nardy. Yeah, come on out. She's got about half a fucking football field. <laughs> hmm. Nardy, what are you doing? <clears throat> you guys know none of my dogs before this dog ever had a dog door. We just we just installed that. Uh, because of her ass. You know what it's like to raise a 150 pound fucking dog? <laughs> it's fucking terrible. <laughs> it's a Holy big shit. ass dog. Damn. Oh, we're going to get fucked up tonight here in here, Nebraska, guys. We're going to get fucked up tonight. We're having a, a shit so Shit stone. Shit stone. Of a snowstorm. A snowstorm. You better go to the shit stove before the shit show starts. No, no, no. I got my vodka and food. Hold on. One of the neighbors is like, What are you doing, Marty? What are you doing? What are you doing, Marty? What are you doing? Don't, don't bark at him. Don't bark at him, girl. You're good. You're good. Okay. <laughs> I love it because uh, sometimes uh, Bernardi barks. I come out here and say, Nardi, shut the hell up. When they got their little uh, ankle biters out there, I let them bark and I'm just like, uh, it doesn't bother me. Right, Nardi? <laughs> yeah, we're going to get fucked up tonight. It's fucking bad here in Nebraska. We're going to get fucked up tonight. We're already fucked up. You're fucked up with Father Saunders on his stream right now. Mm hmm. Oh, we we all fuck outlaw. This is for you, brother. This is for you, outlaw. You ready? Yeah. What you got? <laughs> oh, here we go. Uh, here we go. That's for you. I'm just a sexy boy. Da, da, da. Oh, Shawn Michaels. I'm not your boy toy. <laughs> yeah, some wrestling. Hell yeah. WWF, not WWE. Fuck your WWE. Fuck it. <laughs> WWF. <laughs> oh, man. Now, uh, yeah. I enjoy your company. You're having a good time? Yeah. Post that clarity. Mm -hmm. I enjoy your company, and I also agree that uh, when you uh, think about post nut, uh, shit gets really clear. <laughs> Are you having a good time? <laughs> having a great time. Oh. <laughs> Post nut clarity is the only kind of is the only true clarity. No, it is. It's really clear. It's very true. It's very clear, guys. We've all been there. You fucking drop your leg like uh, what the fuck? Did, what the fuck did I just do, motherfucker? Then you gotta go sit and uh, look at yourself in the mirror. You're like, uh, what'd you just do? <laughs> what the fuck did you just do? I, 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 I'm fucking, I'm ashamed of you. I'm going to go to bed now. I'm ashamed of you. I'm going to bed. <laughs> it's like, you fucking dumbass. You did it again. You know better. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> you start arguing with yourself in the mirror going, why did you, man, you, you know not to do that. But I, but I, but, but I, no, no buts. You Only the one you just got you done with. You know, you're looking at your shelf, you're like, and then you open up your eyes, you're like, do what? What the fuck did you just do? <laughs> it's not funny. Why are you laughing? Uh, nobody, nobody needs to know this shit. <laughs> you should be you should be, so ashamed. Ashamed. you should be ashamed of yourself, is. Father Saunders. The you should be the girls while I got the moves. Outlaw, what you should be ashamed. Uh, Post nut, you should be ashamed. We should all be ashamed. Uh, we we did what it is that we did, but. Uh, you should be fucking. You should be fucking ashamed. <laughs> I'm not your boy toy. Boy toy. Boy toy. Da, 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 da. It's like you boy. Man, it's all about Stone Cold for me. Dude, uh, when I was growing up, uh, Outlaw, I yeah. still have it. I still have it on my mom and dad's fucking uh, 1990 fucking recorder. 
where it looked like a Hollywood movie set. Yeah. <laughs> they, were, they were recording me. I used to fucking record uh, uh, WCW and fucking WWF shit way back in the day. I was just like the Monday Night Wars. I'm like, oh my God. Oh, hell yeah. Dude, how do you watch this? Dude, I graduated 98, brother, and we're talking about 96, 97. I'm like, we got to go back and forth every fucking time. Oh, this is before uh, WWE, uh, WCW got bought out by fucking the McMahons and shit. Dude, I was part of that. I lived it. It was fucking awesome. It was so fucking cool. I think Paul's still not, in the book. Not, okay, here we go. What about uh, Al Bundy? Dial 1-800-COLLECT. Do you remember the 1-800-COLLECT uh, commercials? <laughs> one <laughs> yeah. 800 collect one 800 call ATT 1010 10, 10, 220 internet yet we didn't have nothing oh god call ATT with the carrot top yeah. I remember that we oh man I forgot that. about carrot top but yeah I remember that now we didn't have any of that shit dude we used to have a fucking uh payphone here in my hometown they tore it down I wish they would have kept it dude I wish I have a picture of it but uh yeah we used to have a fucking uh payphone here I'm like uh there's no way that I could imagine 25 years later that uh, a payphone would be looked at and scoffed at and laughed at. I'm like, oh, well, that was part of my childhood, dude. Don't laugh at that shit. I will fuck you in your ass. Eventually, oh. somebody's going to ask oh. you what a payphone is. Don't, don't clip that, outlaw, uh, please. Um, I'm not going to be the one to clip it. Okay. If you don't know what a payphone is, um, I'm going to violate your asshole. Whoa. Not that one's getting clipped. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that one's definitely getting clipped. Don't clip it. I'm going to fuck you. <laughs> That's what's going to happen. It's good. Oh, it's getting clipped. It's getting clipped. I will fuck you, post nut. I'm going to fuck you. Uh, no, uh-uh. Yeah, yeah, I'll do it. It doesn't matter if you want it to happen. I'm going to make it fucking happen. Whoa. Don't fuck I don't know how I feel about all this. <laughs> it's, a, it's a little too too personal. <laughs> I don't know how to feel about this. But if we're talking about uh, um, God, it was so fucking cool to actually uh, be part of a payphone. Here in my small town, you'd actually put a quarter in there and you could call somebody from fucking payphone. <laughs> He just so, liked the insertion part. No, it was so fucking cool. I can't believe that I actually uh, got to live that. That life is gone. Guys, that life is gone. I think the Paul's only, the way, only yeah. way that you guys even know that exists is because people like me tell you about it. Or it might be uh, online. I actually got to live it. It's fucking crazy that uh, certain aspects of your childhood are gone. It's so hard to actually look at it and be like, fuck, that doesn't exist no more. Uh, you guys will be there right there with me uh, in 10 years, 15 years. Doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. Eventually you guys are going to be like, uh, fuck that shit doesn't exist no more. Father Saunders, Father Saunders been dead for 20 years, dude. Uh, yeah, he was right. <laughs> Paul, are you still back there? Oh shit. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I was too busy fucking fucking with you fucking gay wogs that I, I didn't fucking plug everything back in. <laughs> Hold on. Let's check on this. Oh, man. One more check on uh, Bernardi because dogs are the shit. Oh, it's getting shitty out here, guys. It's getting fucking shitty. Boy, Nart, Nardi. Watch this, guys. If I chase her, it's fucking hilarious. Watch this. Nart. You need to come inside, Nardi. Come here. All right. I'm just get your ass. Boys. Get your ass inside. <laughs> no, uh, don't, don't, don't attack me. Get your ass inside. <laughs> Dude, you know how awesome it is to see a fucking 11 year old St. Bernard still trying to play with you? It's fucking awesome. I love it. I'm just a boy. Oh, it's so fucking cool, guys. Uh, to see a, a St. Bernard like that, look at me and. Uh, like run the other way and be actually fucking graceful about it. Oh man. I had my son experience that with me the other day. I'm like, son, you gotta come up here. Nardi's pissed off. I'm gonna go try to grab her. She's gonna run from me. Son, come up here. And he did it and she fucking ran from him. Like 
<laughs> Look at that shit. You can't catch her, can you? Dude, it looks like Cujo running at you. Oh, Cujo. shit. Cujo's running at your ass. That's what it looked like, even though it's a oh, fucking shit. female St. Bernard. <laughs> uh -huh. Hold on, let me plug this shit and fuck back in. Yeah, there's no school tomorrow. My son texted me. He's like, Dad, if I can make it happen, can we play D&D &D tomorrow? I'm like, sure. Let me know. I'll put that shit up. I got you, son. He's like, Dad. I'm like, what? I'm like, quiet, son. Here, here's all you need to know. Son Saunders, here's all you need to know. My balls created you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. You came from my balls. That's all you need to know. Okay? We can figure out everything from there. Once you understand that you came from your father's ball sack, we can fucking learn and grow together <laughs> after that. <laughs> what the fuck is going on? I don't know, Allah. I have no idea. Good idea. <laughs> I don't know, but I told him he's gonna should start calling him Fart Hammer. <laughs> oh. Dude, Paul, uh, I guess he forgot about you, man. I I'm know. sorry that I had to uh, delete my stream last night, guys, because I had a great time with y'all. I had a fantastic time. I really did. Uh, but uh, when I get multiple requests, I look at shit and I'm like, okay, like I'm old and drunk. But I can look at shit and uh, discern what's okay and what's not okay, even though I'm old and I'm drunk. And fuck your hairline, outlaw. <laughs> uh, you know we. Can... <laughs> There's no laughing here, outlaw. There's no fun to be out here. <laughs> no fun to be had. If you guys got more hair than this, okay. Uh, there's no okay. Um, if you're a guest on my stream, you need to leave. <laughs> You need to leave. <laughs> you need to leave. <laughs> Dude, that guy, that guy, uh, when those uh, uh, gentlemen said you need to leave, when he fucking lost his shit and started headbanging his fucking, his fucking uh, uh, hood, he was going through some fucking shit, guys. <laughs> like, you need to leave. You need to leave. He's like, fuck you. And he fucking like pounds his fucking uh, um, uh, uh, windshield and headbutts and dents his fucking shit. Yeah. Let me tell you guys, he's going through some fucking shit. Like uh, mm -hmm. it wasn't him getting pissed at you saying you need to leave. It's because he was going through some fucking shit. Uh, uh, tell me I'm wrong there, uh, outlaw. No. Nope. He's going through something. Now, you don't stuff your head into a car hood unless you got some stuff going on. Oh, dude. Uh, if you guys do that to me, I would laugh at you. But at the same time, if I'm like hammer fisting my own car and I'm headbutting my own car, and you guys, uh, Outlaw's like, you need to leave. First of all, I'm going to laugh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck you, Outlaw. Fuck you. <laughs> Fuck you. It's not funny. <laughs> First of all, fuck you oh. all. Oh, ah. God. Oh, my God. I, I, Head I, boomer I, in charge. Oh, man. A lot of post nut. I can't look at you guys. If you guys looked at me and I started laughing, I'd be like, I, I, I can't do this shit. Are we, are, are we live right now? I can't do this. It's too fucking funny. I can't do this shit. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Outlaw, you having a good time, sir? Oh, yeah. Close right. night. You have a good time? Good time. I am live right now. Is there any topic or anything you guys want to talk about right now? Well, um, Paul's still backstage. I did have one question for you. Yeah, obviously, you've gotten to the point now where you may or may not, you know, agree with it yourself, but you have gotten to the point now where you're giving advice to guys. You know, I, again, as I said in the chat while you were gone, I hate using that word, but at what point? And was it a was it an overnight thing? But at what point have, did you start to realize that you actually have information to give to the younger people, younger guys? And was it a gradual change? And how does it how did that feel when you noticed it? That's a really good question. Uh, can you ask that again uh, for the chat and for me? 
Uh, yeah, it's and it's kind of a hard, hard question to figure out how to ask it. But yeah, I, I know that eventually you got to the point where you realized you had advice to give to the younger guys. Like, how did that happen overnight, or was that a gradual thing, or was it simply because of your experiences, or have you even gotten to the point where you have come to that realization yet? Uh, Chad, I want you guys to know, and I thank you for your question. Uh, and I sound gay as fuck doing that. Don't, don't ever do that. Thank you for your question. Fuck that, chat. Don't ever fucking thank somebody for a fucking question. It's fucking thank dumb. you for your question. That was a great question you have. Let me think about it for a minute. I want you to take a shit on the fact that you are thankful for a fucking question. Fuck you. <laughs> take a shit on it and piss on it. Let me try to answer you. Uh, I asked that because, again, because uh, it should be funny, Allah. It should be. Well, thank you for your fucking question. No, fuck your question, dude. Fucking finger, fuck your question. <laughs> finger bang your question. Right. God damn it. Um, I'm going to ask you some shit that only a real person would. Uh, can you uh, ask that question again? I'm so sorry. <laughs> That's a deep question. It, it really actually is. Um, yeah. I mean, that, and I don't know what made me think of it earlier, but just you've got, as I said, you've gotten to the point now where your 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 point of part of the point of your channel is to give advice to the younger guys growing up and give information, you know, all that stuff. But how? At what point did you realize that you had? I guess information to give the younger guys and that you had advice and I'm going to quote unquote wisdom, so to speak, that you could offer, you know, the younger guys. And was that a gradual change or did that just happen overnight? Gradual. Uh, it didn't happen overnight. Uh, the decision that I made may have happened overnight. It, it is completely possible. Uh, but when you're sitting there going through some shit, when you're uh, getting charged with uh, uh, restraining orders, uh, you, have, you get knocks on your door, hey, you can't do this, you can't be within 100 yards of this, whatever the fuck. You have to deal with that shit, go to court. Um, the court may or may not find you uh, guilty or not guilty of uh, some really fucking serious shit. Um, obviously... If I'm in the vicinity of you guys as kids, I'm going to give my life to fucking save your kid. But court doesn't see it that way. Uh, here, here's what happened. Here's what your uh, ex-wife told us. Here's what your ex-wife was coached to tell us that your ex-wife told you later. This is what my lawyer said to say. You still have the option and the uh, uh, financial fucking backing to say, no, I'm not going to do that. Well, what was, I, what was I supposed to do? I'm like, uh, you have the money. You could tell your lawyer to say, no, don't say that. You're paying, you're paying the lawyer. Uh, I don't know how else to uh, explain that to you. Uh, Chad's not going to see that. You guys are going to see that. Um, I was told that later. And uh, uh, I had 13 character witnesses on my first 8.5 hour court date. Uh, so I had to sit in the hot seat. And for eight and a half hours, I listened to 13 people tell me how much of a fucking monster I was. I don't want you guys to go through that. It's fucking terrible. I sat there. I'm laughing at you guys right now because <laughs> it's fucking funny. <laughs> I don't want you guys to know that. I don't want you guys to know what it's like to have 13 people sit there and tell you guys that uh, you're a fucking monster. I can laugh at you guys about it now and laugh with you because it's fucking, <laughs> it's fucking funny. But at the same time, uh, it's not fucking funny. To sit in that hot seat and to keep a straight face, uh, it almost felt like a murder trial. I mean, I did two eight and a half hour days in court for a fucking divorce. And it fucking sounds like it, man. Dude, I didn't even initiate it. My wife divorced me. It was two eight and a half hour days in court because she wanted to divorce me. And I, I, I had no fucking choice. <laughs> what am I going to do? <laughs> dude, no so, innocent man should have to go through that. Dude, it, it, it's all fucked up, guys. Um uh, 
I spent more time with my uh, adopted children than I have got with my biological children. I've spent more time with children that are not mine than I have gotten and been allowed to have with my own biological. How does that make sense, chat? Can you tell me how that makes any fucking sense? Because it doesn't make fucking sense to me. It's fucking horrible, dude. It's fucking horrible. <laughs> Saunders, what the fuck are you doing? Fuck you. I'm dealing with shit. Yeah, you're dealing with shit. Yeah, I'm dealing with shit. Why are you talking to yourself? I don't know. Why is chat entertaining you talking to yourself? I don't know. Ask chat. Chat? What the fuck am I doing? <laughs> don't answer that. <laughs> Oh, man. Uh, there's no school tomorrow. Uh, Outlaw, can you hear me? Outlaw, can you hear yes, me? Yes, yes, yes. Sorry, I was muted. No, close enough. Can you hear me? No sound. Don't, don't do that shit. Don't do it. Don't do it. No sound. You guys convinced me. You guys can me. Evidently, I uh, shut down a stream twice. Evidently, I shut a stream down twice because you guys can that you can hear me. Evidently, I, 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 uh, outlaw, quiet. The, uh, <laughs> oh, shit. Outlaw, quiet now. It's not, it's not okay. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't realize he showed his ass at the end of the stream last night too. Uh, no, I didn't. Frost actually convinced me that I showed my dick on stream at one time. I'm like, I'm so fucking sorry. <laughs> I get so fucking sorry. He's like, yeah. Uh, uh, oh. Actually showed your dick. You showed your balls. I'm like, I'm so, I'm so ashamed. I'm so sorry. And then I know that day, feeling though. You don't know if you did or not. <laughs> I've been there all the time. <laughs> That's why I go back and wash my shit. I'm like, okay, I do that. Outlaw said, I fucking show my butthole. I gotta go back. I gotta look at that. <laughs> and then you start thinking, well, maybe I did. Oh, man. I don't know, man. Sometimes I get so fucking drunk. Uh, I'm sorry, guys. Uh, I try not to get sloppy drunk. That's why I uh, uh, put a fucking chicken scratch on my fucking yellow paper. Here we go. Hold on. Outlaw. Here you go. Outlaw. Outlaw can fucking, he can fucking, he can bosh for it. Sometimes it's good content. Every 45 minutes, I make him fucking scratch, motherfucker. I make a fucking scratch. I fucking scratch. Look at him. Fucking scratch. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> Char. Char is a fucking gay ass German. Uh, and I'm still going to make a gift for that time that you ate shit when you tried to get up. If anybody knows a good gift maker that I can put screenshots in to make a gift out of it, let me know. Well, I want you guys to look at this right here. I want you guys to make fun fun of that shit right here. Look at that. Oh, I'll look at it. Post not look at it. Make fun of them. What's up? Make fun of that right now. Char, Char did that to me. I want you guys to make fun of it. Because you're, you're on my channel, and you're supposed to have my fucking back. <laughs> your chair's got your back a little too much. You don't have to agree with me. Just go back at him. Can you meet me halfway? Meet me halfway, for fuck's sake. <laughs> <laughs> Outlaw, I got five in the private chat. Hold on. I'm not a boomer. I'm not a boomer. Is Paul Smacker still in the background? You guys, you guys love to call me a boomer. I am a, as far from a boomer that you guys can possibly imagine. I was born in the fucking 70s, guys. I'm not a fucking boomer. <laughs> My dad is so old, he was silent generation. Do you guys know what the fuck that means? Boom. Everybody forgets about there was actually generations before the boomer. My dad was one of them. He was a silent generation. <laughs> How
How do you respond to that outlaw? I don't know how to respond to that shit. My dad was silent Jen. What am I supposed to say? Boomers, you fucked it all up. Well, uh, I don't know what a boomer is because my dad was fucking older than that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I I have no clue, man. My my pop. Yeah, my, dad, my, my dad, my dad, Allah. If my dad was still alive uh, today, uh, he would turn. Uh, give me one second. He would turn uh, eighty-two. Eighty-two oh, years old. If my dad was still alive, he'd be eighty-two right now. <laughs> oh, yeah. My dad was almost forty before he had me, guys. Hell and yeah. I'm 44. That's fucking okay. You're talking about 70s, 80s, 90s shit. Okay. We're talking about some 70s, 80s, 90s shit. <laughs> Outlaw, you doing good? Post night, you doing good? Yeah. I'm having Spectacular. A great I'm having a great fucking time. Guys. Swimming. Let me get back to the comments. Let me get back to the comments. Uh, we can't hear you, Sanders. Don't. Don't don't do it, Phoenix. Don't do it. <laughs> don't fuck around because I'm talking with people in my own panel who can't hear me, so I know. <laughs> I know. Like, can you can you hear him out well? <laughs> cutting cutting in a little, cutting in and out a little bit. No, you know? can, can you hear him? I can't hear him anymore. Oh yeah, of course you can. You guys have been He's talking the last ten minutes. You did that. He's got you on there. Shut up. <laughs> He's. <laughs> Why are you laughing? There's no fun to be had on the Father's Day. Uh, Outlaw. Why are you uh, laughing? There's, there's no fun to be. Oh uh, man. <laughs> there's no fun. There's no fun to be fucking had here. <laughs> <laughs> There's no fun to be had here, Chad. Oh, There's no fun. Oh. You guys are laughing. You're in the wrong. You're in the wrong fucking channel. Hey, I put something in the chat. Why don't you pull it up? Why don't you pull up my dick? Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Whoa. Wow. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna fucking go. I'm gonna go grab a drink. Fuck you guys. <laughs> oh my god, man. Fucking god. Oh my god, you're fucking white. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be a wild night, motherfuckers. Uh, you see what we go through for you guys, chat? Oh man. Oh, this is what we deal with. We can't have nice things. You deal with my dick. Fuck you. Jesus Christ. I don't know how to respond to that. I, I, I have no idea, brother. No words. <clears throat> oh, man. So how you doing, bud? Eh, I'm all right, man. That's cool. Yeah, I'm chilling. A little hungry. Started my fast this morning after the, the, the shit storm. Yesterday's shit storm. Yeah. I'm going to go for at least three days without eating. We'll see what happens. I do suggest that, by the way, to anybody who goes, I can't fucking eat. I can't go a whole day without eating. I hate it when people say that, dude. I can't stand it. Like, some people think they can't go without two meals without eating. Like, you can go yeah. for a month if you had to. I don't yeah. suggest it. It sucks. But, like, you could go for a whole month without food. I've been a whole day or two without it. <clears throat> and then I ate everything in sight. <laughs> Hell yeah. Yeah, I'm the same way. That's probably how this is going to be this time, too. It's oh, yeah, That's man. the hardest parts when you get done with it. Then you make yourself sick. You, yeah. y yes, you can, Jim Power. You can go a whole day without eating. <laughs> What's up, Jim? <clears throat> Jim Power did a true Griggis dream, by the way. He painted himself green, and uh, he, he he put it all out there. Not all of it, but he he went full green. He went green. Uh, and I think Saunders says you can eat a dick. Uh, 
Paul, are you still in the background, brother? Yeah, never accidentally kick yourself off of a Saunders stream because you're probably never getting back in. <laughs> yeah. yeah, pretty much. I did that one time. And yeah, I, I sat there for like an hour. I'm going, can, can I get, no, no, I can't, okay, never mind. <laughs> oh, man. <clears throat> Fortunately, the stream that I learned to use StreamYards ended up getting deleted as well. So that worked out well. I do it on my phone. I have to be careful not to hit the wrong buttons. Yeah. Yeah, you got to be careful, man. Yeah, I face the camera away now. So in case I accidentally I don't dox myself or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. Show face. Can't show face. Oh, my God, dude. That was so funny last night. Char. Well, actually, Jim Power. But, yeah. that. So, that was that was what it was. He was talking about. He said, oh, my God. He said, uh, what was it? Jim Power said, fuck horses. That's what crippled Superman. <laughs> <laughs> that was what did it I went back and watched it he said fuck horses they crippled Superman <laughs> Jim's hilarious <laughs> oh my god oh uh, that's great. Chaos. Chaos. god that was so funny you hear chaos. hear chaos how can we hear chaos when you're not here did I hear chaos no oh, chaos isn't here bro did I hear him Mm -hmm. Outlaw, uh, post yep. on clarity. Uh, let me talk to you. Come in here. Uh, group chat. Group chat. We, we can't move. I don't know. I, I have no idea what's going on. You're going to fucking move because if my 44 year old ass is moving, you're fucking moving. Come in here. Uh, <laughs> uh, mm -hmm. What the fuck are y'all doing? <laughs> No laughing. Um, what are y'all doing? We got to put the horse down, Flanders. The horse. <laughs> Never mind. Hey, Jim Power, want to come up? Power, no, you you take your green ass that you painted yourself. You painted yourself fucking green. That's fucking that's insane. People give me shit because of my Gumby walls. Look at my Gumby walls. I love fucking green, guys. Green is the shit. You are oh, yeah. fucking worse than that. People yeah, but like that's halfway. That's a halfway Griga. Jim Power went full Griga. Okay. Uh, I'm not doing, <laughs> I'm not oh, doing coke. I can't afford coke, guys. I am a poor man. Uh, coke is a rich man's drug. For you guys that know, don't do that, by the way. Because... Uh, if you guys do snore coke, um, you're going to uh, come down. The come down is fucking horrible. The only way to alleviate the come down of coke is to do more coke. Any of you guys that know that, uh, know where I'm coming from, uh, that's the truth. I wish I was wrong. I, I don't want you guys to ever go through that. If you guys do do, uh, do do. <laughs> I said do do. <laughs> I said doo doo outlaw. Laugh is fucking funny. Fuck you. Um, <laughs> dude, if you guys if you guys do uh coke, look guys, uh you're gonna feel like you're fucking Superman. You're gonna feel like you're on top of the world. Uh hell yeah. If you guys if you guys uh get too far into it, the way to mitigate having the quote unquote come down with coke is to do more coke it's not okay to do that don't do that drug you're gonna feel like you're fucking superman don't do it just uh look let it go and if you do if you do i hope that uh you are a uh MGTOW outlaw or a uh post on clarity out in my house because I can protect you. But you fucked up. I can protect you. 
people out there don't give a fuck what the fuck you're going through. As long as they get their fucking cut, as long as they get their hit, you got to trust people with your fucking life. If you smoke, uh, if you fucking smoke pot, if you drink, if you snort coke, if you inject shit, guys, I want you guys to know you better trust the person that you're with with your fucking life because you're going to get to a point where you're like, I don't know what the fuck is up from now. And you want the people with you for fuck's sake at the end of the day. Fuck, do I even have a place to fucking sleep tonight? God forbid you don't have that. You guys got to trust the people that you're with, even if they're fucked up. Myself included, guys. Myself included. I am the best drunk driver I know. <laughs> uh, oh, <laughs> I know it shouldn't make sense. Um, I drive much safer when I'm stoned. Yeah. Uh, if you guys are with me, no matter what, I'm going to trust my driving. Even if your driving is better than me, uh, I'm going to trust my driving. I will get you where you need to go. Don't worry about how I get where I need to go. I will fucking get you home. I promise you. I've done that shit a hundred fucking times. It's fucking crazy. It's crazy. It's crazy outlaw. Uh, I shouldn't have to uh, tell you that I've done that a hundred times because it's fucking yeah. stupid. <laughs> but no, seriously. No. Um, whenever somebody's getting fucked up, whenever you guys are getting fucked up, <clears throat> I'm excluded. if I take a, 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 a dip of tobacco, if I take a drink, if I take a shot, you guys have got to know that you're putting your fucking life in line with people that are with you who you are uh, randomly trusting because you want to get fucked up one night. Does that make sense? Amen. Uh, outlaw, does that make sense? Yeah. If I get fucked up, and I'm with Outlaw, I'm going to get fucked up because I know that Outlaw, if I get fucked up, Outlaw, uh, uh, no matter what, Outlaw's going to look at me, he's going to be like, so I'm just going to be like, what? You're fucked up. Okay. Okay. Uh, uh, God. Okay. I got to go with Outlaw. Fuck you. Fuck you. <laughs> Fuck you. You guys, you, guys know what it's like. you guys know what it's like when you're sloppy drunk? I've been there. Mm -hmm. I've been there. Um, Hell, I've been there on your stream. You've been there on my stream? Oh, not not sloppy drunk, but drunk to the point where I couldn't figure out what to say to chat. <laughs> do you guys do you guys know what it's like, uh, outlaw chat? Do you guys know what it's like to uh, bust a nut and then have your post? Hell yo. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> hold on, hold on. Post you have the fucking perfect name, by the way. Well, do you guys know what it's like to bust and not look at that person and be like, uh, maybe I shouldn't have done this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Maybe I shouldn't have done this. Uh, I'm looking at post not. Post not, I'm not looking at you personally. If I am looking at you, we got problems. We got Don't you look problems. at me when you're busting nuts. Well, we got, oh, God. we got fucking issues. If I wake up and I'm busting a nut, and when I bust nut, I'm looking at fucking outlaw or uh, uh, oh. 30. We don't need uh, chat doesn't need to know that. Nobody needs to know that. <laughs> wow. I tell you what, if you if you bust it to my avatar, please go ahead. That's what it's there for. Uh, I, this is I rule thirty four. I, I mean, people nobody probably knows. will to mine. What we're, what we're talking about, nobody needs to know about. If I bust a nut. I ain't going to say, hey, uh, post my clarity and uh, Outlaw was there. No, 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 no. Uh, if uh, Outlaw busts a nut, uh, he's not going to say, oh, post nut and Saunders was there. No, 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 no. If post nut busts a nut, uh, he's not going to be like uh, uh, Father Saunders, uh, Outlaw, uh, yeah. you weren't there. You weren't there. <laughs> I mean, some people probably will bust it to this avatar, but well, you're not they, wrong. They're gonna play with themselves. They're gonna be like, uh, oh, "Okay, uh, Father Saunders, uh, I want to fucking jack off on your face because you're so fucking sexy." 
I'd be like, uh, no, don't do that. <laughs> and then Outlaw, Outlaw's laughing. So they're going to go to Outlaw. Well, I'm going to jack off on Outlaw. I'm like, don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> Why, <laughs> I'm trying Sounds to like a good it. time to join NoFab. Example, oh, 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 bear oh, with oh, me. Oh, 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 oh. I am now an advocate of the NoFab lifestyle. Oh, 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 oh. So if uh, if your father Saunders, uh, bear with <laughs> bear with me. Um, yeah, Steve. Steve's got a point. It's time for NoFab. Hold on, hold on. Let, let me let me collect myself. <laughs> Give me a second. Um, are you? Uh, are don't you don't fap with your friends. Are you objectifying my avatar? Is she only a piece of meat to you? I, I'm not. I'm just trying to uh, go with the flow, and you're fucking it up, outlaw. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh, give me a second here, fucking it up. Let, let me, uh, let me rubber band this shit. <laughs> Jesus. All right, chat. Um, uh, y'all are fucked up. You guys are gay as fuck. Uh, we <laughs> sh shut up, Allah. Don't talk. Don't talk. Nobody in the chat fucking talk. Nobody. Oh. I'm gonna tell you what it is. I am your elder. I'm 44. You can 44 this fucking dick. Wait, wait. Jesus <laughs> Christ, man. Wait. Wait Whoa. a second. Wait a second. Wait a second. All right. If you guys are still here right now and you're like, uh, huh? this guy is talking. I'm like, yeah, yeah, I'm talking. I'm I'm the guy that's talking. This guy's talking. Yeah, I'm the guy that's talking. Uh, he wants to 44 a dick. What do we do about that? What do we what do we do about that? Calm down. It's okay. What do we do about a uh a 44 dick? Well, what do we do, Chad? Uh well here here's our options. You got a 44 fucking dick, and uh <laughs> oh. hold on. That'll do nothing. That'll do yeah. nothing with a 44 dick. <laughs> hold but, on. You guys gotta let me tell the story. You guys gotta let me tell the story. Hey, go ahead. Let me tell the story. Okay. Uh, if <laughs> if uh, God damn it, if uh, you got a full grown man who's talked with you, who has uh, uh, laid and had a uh, uh, a fucking What's it called? A uh, picnic watch. Picnic watch with you. We had a picnic. We had a picnic, and you're telling me that uh, what I'm doing or what I'm thinking about is like against the narrative. What the fuck are we talking about, Father Saunders? You ain't got no fucking hair. I'm like, I know, I know. Some of you guys got fucking hair. That's awesome. I know, I ain't got no hair. I'm like, ah. Uh, <laughs> We're going to shame you. If you prove me wrong, uh, Saunders, you're fucking bald, you son of a bitch. <laughs> yeah. Fuck you. Eat a dick. Okay. Everybody that fucking says Saunders, you're fucking bald. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we got it. We got it. Saunders is bald. That doesn't mean that uh, whatever I talk about and whatever I uh, uh, put in the chat uh, is irrelevant. The one thing you can say is be like, uh, you're bald. I'm like, yeah, yeah, I'm, yeah I am bald. Uh, what else she got? She well, if they asked you what it was like to have the wind blow through your hair, you might be, it might be a little irrelevant. Uh, <laughs> what do you get? <laughs> <laughs> you feel the wind in your hair, Saunders? What the, what the fuck do you guys want? What do you want to chat? What the fuck? <laughs> what do you want to chat? It's fucking terrible. How dare you? Don't laugh. <laughs> Don't laugh. Uh, I, I love. I love. Uh, I love. Her. Saunders I love loves her. hair, by the way. He loves other guys' hair. I love. Her. <laughs> I love her. Yeah. 
we're going to talk in the background and we're going to talk about some shit, okay? And then I'm going to talk about uh, people who are not on this fucking strain about some shit after uh, we talk about what the fuck I, uh, I'm talking with you. Uh, I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. Fuck you. You're going to talk about talking about talking about stuff. Talking about, fuck you. Talking about what uh, lick my balls. There you go. Wow. Outlaw. Yeah. If somebody is against licking my balls, I want you. To, I want you. To, if somebody's against licking uh, my balls, I want you to fucking punch me in the face because punch me in the face, outlaw. If you don't wow. like licking my balls, uh, you need to you deserve to be punched in the face. Wow. <laughs> I'll Go ahead, Outlaw. Just, just give me that haymaker. Uh, punch him in the face because it's funny as hell. If you guys do not agree with uh, licking my balls, of uh, why are you on my channel? I you deserve to be punched. You deserve to be punched in the face. Outlaw, don't pay attention to it. Outlaw, you just do your thing. I want you to be punched in the fucking face with my dick. Fuck you. Oh, man. <laughs> this guy. I'll, uh, uh, rainbows in the chat. Rainbows in the chat. Why are you putting rainbows in the chat? <laughs> rainbows in the fucking chat. Do it. Do it. Fuck you. Do it. Fuck you. Post nut. Fuck you. Wow. Uh, well, come back at me. You guys got to come back at me. Fuck you guys. Fuck you, chat. Outlaw. No. Yeah. Uh, 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 Post night clarity. Fucking no. Fuck you. You're on a father saunders chat. What do you got to say for yourself? You're fucking terrible. Um, these nuts. Penis. Penis and these. Yeah, I'm going to say penis. Yeah. Penis. <laughs> penis and these nuts. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, and these nuts. Uh, what do you, uh, uh, <laughs> shut up? Uh, <laughs> for, That's where this dream's going tonight, baby. Penis, <laughs> penis, uh, yeah. penis chat, and uh, and penis. What was the other one? Um, penis, penis chat, and uh, no, rainbows in the chat. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, what do you guys? <laughs> Penis. God damn it, that law. Fuck you guys. I'm going to go upstairs and take a piss. I'm going to piss in my fucking pants. Fuck you. That's what I'm going to do. That poor <laughs> fucking chair. God, that chair. <laughs> oh. Law, what the fuck? Justice for what? the chair. Justice oh. for the chair. Uh, uh, I'm glad that you're having a good time tonight, brother. Uh, I, uh, I've had a great time with you, too. I think uh, chair. For anybody that doesn't know, uh, Outlaw. Yeah. Uh, he was looking at my chair. He was like, oh, oh look at Saunders chair. Oh, Saunders. Oh, Saunders. <laughs> Oh, what, like, what am I doing? What am I doing? What the you know he rubs one out thinking about his chair. Oh, my God. I don't know. Here's what's going on. What's Everybody, happening? Everybody's looking at my chat. They're like, ah, ah, ah. Oh, my God. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, my oh. <laughs> 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 Fuck you guys. Oh, my God. Oh, man. Stop. Eat this fucking dick. Fuck. Stop. Eat Shit. Eat it. Oh, oh, stop. No. I think this stream's going to get pulled down just by the algorithm oh, alone. Saunders, what are you doing? Oh, my God. God. Did he oh, just fall? He just ate shit. <laughs> he just fucking fell. Rest in pieces. Oh, chair. I'm sorry, brother. Chair. It's okay. If you want to cry? It's okay, Chad. I think Saunders said the floor is moving. Oh yeah, it's time for Saunders to go to night night. 
Yeah. Sorry, brother. I don't know what's happening to you, but it's going to be okay. Is that a stain? I think I see a stain. Oh, Jesus. He's got a shit stain on the top half of it. Oh, you know he does. We can't see the see we can't see the back of that chair also, by the way. No. There's no telling what he does on the back of that chair. <clears throat> oh, the back of the chair is probably just as bad. If not worse, you know how he rolls. Yeah. If not worse. It's okay, chair, let it out. What is the devil's mix, Seraphim? Cherifum. Do you see the chat? <laughs> yeah. Chair power. Post chair clarity. <laughs> oh, that's great. Oh, man. Oh, man. What the fuck? Of course, we got the MGTOW chair. The MGTOW chair. Oh, man. <clears throat> hey, Flanders. Yeah. Fuck you. The MGTOW chair. Mm-hmm. Is Walt still in the house? Chair he is his own way. I think Walt's still in the house. There we go. That one's for Walt. Uh. Chair Sanchez, I guess. Chairing his own way. Walt, are you still here listening to this shit storm? <laughs> I did the ad thing. He showed up. I like talking shit to Walt. He's fun. He gets my stupid humor, too. <laughs> <laughs> Half the time, Saunders doesn't get it. Of course, <laughs> you know, there's probably a lot of things Saunders doesn't get. Yeah. It's no fun talking shit to him when he can't even hear. That's the worst part is I can't even talk shit to him. He can't hear. <clears throat> I'm chair peeled now. <laughs> chair peeled. <laughs> chair, chairing his own way. Chairing is caring. <laughs> oh, man. I need to write another song. Hold on. <laughs> Mochi says, can you review a cookbook? How do you review a cookbook? I mean, it sounds like an interesting idea. Uh, sorry, Mochi. That is Frost's territory. That is not my territory, bro. Did I call him Mochi? Oops. Mochi. Devil's mix is two guys, one no. Uh uh. What? Says Jim Power. Uh uh. Oh, I got this. Hold on. Here he comes. Here he comes. Fuck y'all, Devil. Fuck you, Flanders. Why are you saying fuck you, Flanders? 
does. That's not very nice. That's not very nice. <laughs> oh no! Outlaw. Two girls, one chair. Yeah. Outlaw. Uh, yeah. Yeah. We're talking shit about Father Summers. What do we do? Um. I don't know what to do. I'm asking you. We 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 okay. laugh at it. Yes. Yes, we laugh at it. I do have to point out that we have not seen the back of your chair. You want to see the back of my chair? We probably need to. Okay. Uh, give me a second here. Oh, that's your fucking terrible. Because we're concerned. Here we go. You want to see the back of my chair? Uh, oh, what's that? Tell me the angles you guys want to see. I'll show you. I'll, 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 I'll prove every fucking angle to you. Whatever it is you guys want to know. <laughs> here we go. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Saunders, have you seen the movie movie called Two Girls, One Chair? Uh, no. Have you guys seen a, 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 a movie that said, uh, fuck you? Because Saunders is uh, on live. Fuck you. Saunders is live. Uh, quotations. Uh, look it up online. Uh, you guys should probably get a match. Maybe. Maybe or not. Here's what you guys got. Saunders, uh, how the fuck do you have a uh, clean slate here? I'm like, I don't know. I don't know. I got a clean slate between my fucking balls, bitch. What the fuck do you guys <laughs> What the fuck do you <laughs> Ah, what do you guys want? You guys want to lick my fucking taint? You guys want to lick my gooch? Lick my fucking gooch, chat. Lick it. Lick my fucking gooch. Do I want you guys to do that? No. No, I don't do that. Uh, I, I don't want that. I don't want you guys to look at my fucking gooch and lick it. I don't want to look at you guys in the eye while you're licking my gooch uh, because it would not be okay. It's, it's very fucking awkward. <laughs> Could you guys imagine... Somebody looking at your fucking gooch and looking at you and you uh your eyes uh meet your eyes lock. <laughs> what the fuck do you do? What the fuck do you... <laughs> what the fuck? I don't know, she do couldn't you... see over these nuts. What the fuck do you do? <laughs> what do you do about that? What do you do about that? Oh, well, don't fart. Okay. Even if I did fart, could you guys imagine? Uh, <laughs> even if I do fart, how the fuck do you respond to that? <laughs> how the Only fuck on after you? hours with Father Saunders can we go from giving advice to young men to goose maxing. You guys are fucking terrible. How the, <laughs> how the fuck? Do you, <laughs> how do you respond to that? <laughs> Shit, there's no way. There's fucking no way. I got you. I can respond to you, but uh, <laughs> there's <laughs> there's no fucking way. Father Saunders, fuck you. Yeah, yeah, fuck me. Eat my dick, motherfucker. <laughs> I think that's the true meaning of taste the rainbow in this case. Oh, man. Uh That's a terrible scenario. I don't want to be here, you guys. I don't want to fucking be here. I really don't. I really fucking don't want to be here. Get the fuck out of here. Gotta be nice you. to the chair. Be nice to the chair. You got a fucking chair? You got a fucking chair? Okay. Guys, uh, my chair is uh, really good. It's really good. <laughs> what do you think about this chair? What do you think about this chair? What the fuck do you think about this? I don't know what he's thinking about. I'm not thinking about it. Uh, 
<laughs> Some shard over the rainbow. <laughs> I'm not doing the rainbow shit. I'm not doing the, uh, how the fuck do you guys respond to somebody, uh, on your right, on your left? They're like, Hey, I'm going to, uh, uh, fuck you up. Why? And it's like a fucking big ass fucking boulder. They're like, bam. I'm just like, <laughs> fuck. God damn it. Fuck you. Fuck you, chat. <laughs> mm. Okay. Yeah, he deleted last night's stream. Oh, he had to put the horse down. Bear with me, guys. Bear with me. Uh, guys, also know what it's like to uh, go eight months and... Uh, yeah, I'm no fucking pussy. You guys know what it's like. I know what it's like to go eight months no. without fucking pussy. I know what it's like to go 16 fucking months without no fucking pussy. I'm not trying to say that uh, you guys are this, you guys are that. I'm this, I'm that. Look, guys. I know what it's like to... Uh, uh, how the fuck do I say this? Hold on, give me a second. I went three years, baby. Monk oh, mode. Hold on. Hold on, goddamn motherfucker. Outlaw. Outlaw. Um, I don't know what it is uh, to experience that shit, but uh, I know what it's like to go eight months without uh, no, no fucking, no pussy. I don't know how to fucking uh, express that here. But uh, I know what it's like to go eight months without any pussy. Uh, can you can you uh, build on that? <laughs> can you build on that? Can you build on that? Let's go, chat. Does April Saunders count? No, because April Saunders is something that I didn't know. And I had no fucking, uh, I had no, uh, what the fuck am I talking about? I had no, uh, uh, Saunders is one of the only guys when he says, when you can tell him to go fuck himself, he can actually do it. <laughs> oh, that's funny, right? Right, Outlaw? <laughs> God damn it, Outlaw. God damn it. Um, I don't know. What I'm talking about right now is what I'm talking about that I don't know. And uh, there's a lot of shit out there that people are talking about that I don't know. There's a uh, Outlaw. Uh, if I get all fucked up, uh, I hope you fucking have one back because it's going to get fucking terrible. It's going to get fucking bad. What are you doing? Why, why are we still alive right now? I don't know. No, no, no. Hold on. It's okay. It's okay. Don't even answer. I don't know, but we're going there, baby. Hold on, guys. Don't even answer. <sighs> Penis. What the, fuck, what the fuck are we talking about? Saunders. Uh, um, we don't like you. That's okay. Okay. <laughs> uh, not only do we do not like you, but we want to shit and take a piss in your fucking mouth. That's what wow. we're doing. Right. That's what mm, doing. I feel violated. He wasn't even talking to me. That's what, <laughs> that's what they're doing, chat. That's what they're doing. Saunders, I want to take my pussy and I want to uh, uh, piss in your fucking mouth. I want to piss in your mouth. I want to piss in your butthole with my pussy lips. That's Rambo's in the <laughs> chat, guys. I, I, <laughs> Allah, bear with me. Bear with me, Allah. I got you. <laughs> it's okay. He, he says he can come back from this. I want to hear it. Oh. Um, no, Allah, it, it, it's okay. I don't give a fuck about anybody else. Allah, it's okay. Um, I'm getting fucked up right now. 
about pussy lips and yeah. uh, uh, shit like that is yeah. fucking hilarious. It's fucking funny. Give me a second. <laughs> Give me the okay, Avalon. Hold on. Just chill. It's okay. Um, sure. Yeah, yeah, I got you, brother. Uh, Frost is one of our buddies, right? Uh, can you guys uh, let me know that Frost uh, Frost is one of our fucking uh, guys? Can you guys put that in the chat? Can you do that? Here's what I got, guys. Here's what, I got. Here's what I got, chat. Um, penises. Yeah, penis. Penis. Here's what I got, chat. <laughs> there is no fucking way. If, if I get really fucked up and I talk about shit and like, uh, here's what I'm going. Here's Father Saunders. I will fucking protect fucking uh, outlaw. I will protect fucking um, uh, 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 post nut. Post nut, yeah, I'll I'll protect uh -huh. you. Uh, uh, Frost, I'll protect yeah. you guys. If you guys yeah. come at me, I will fucking put myself in your fucking uh, line of fucking engagement. Now I can't. Uh, oh, okay, we're we're gonna stop there. We're gonna stop there. Outlaw. Yeah, you're, fucking gay. you're gay. We're gonna stop there. Wait, what? You're gay. We're stopping there, outlaw. What the fuck? Gay? Cause you're what? fucking gay. Wow. Well, just, how? Just how? Wow. How else am I to? Uh, how else am I supposed to uh, relate to that? I have no idea how to relate to that shit, brother. Outlaw, can you uh, can you hear me? Penis. Outlaw, <laughs> we're talking about penis. Um, penis. My dick and my balls. Uh, everybody does not know uh, what is going on, but my dick and my balls it hangs low. Sometimes it hangs lower. Uh, there's no laughing here. If you guys are laughing, there's uh, fuck you. There's no laughing here. There's no laughing. Outlaw. Um, yeah. When we're talking about shit, there's no laughing. There's no laughing. Uh, if you guys do laugh, I want to punch you in your fucking fart box. I want to punch you in your ass. That's what I want to do. <laughs> there's, there's, Penis? There's no... Uh, <laughs> there's no there's no laughing guys there's no laughing uh, I don't at least while you're punching him in the ass you show us the chair at least we got a picture of the chair i don't, while you're mean, I don't mean, want to kick, punch mean penis i don't want to kick punch fart whatever it is anybody's butthole but uh okay uh yeah <laughs> why are you guys talking to me what the fuck is wrong with you <laughs> Sunday night with Saunders. Outlaw, what are we talking about, brother? God damn it. Okay. Um penis. Penis. Nobody wants that. Who the fuck wants that? Let me uh hold on. Hold on. I don't know. Hold on, hold on. Uh I'm and drunk penis. and uh, I'm, I'm falling at your guys' whim. Hold on. I got you. You going to make it back to your chair? My chair's right the fuck here. I, I'm one step away from my chair. Uh, I'm just telling you guys right yeah. now. My chair. Uh, uh, it's really fucking hard for me to look at you guys and be like, uh, we have a... Uh, Outlaw, outlaw, yeah. I want you to uh, look the first on my ass. You need to fucking calm down. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <what? laughs> 
Okay. It's okay. It's okay. I lock. You're okay. You're okay. It's okay. You guys are in my chat right now. Um, mm -mm. Uh, I've got. Uh, I've got motherfuckers looking at me and talking to me. And uh, how the fuck do I uh, say this? Here, uh, Sean, uh, Riggs, Sean, whoever. Um, I'm fucked up, but I'm uh, I'm on this uh, same channel. Go ahead. Uh, um, yeah. The floor is yours, Fart Hammer. Well, I don't know how to respond to this shit. How the fuck do I respond to this shit? Uh, I'm with you guys, but I'm just hanging out right now. He says he's one step away from the chair. So close yet so far. <laughs> you guys, it's fucking terrible. Uh, you guys are better than me. You guys uh, can handle your shit better than me. Uh, we're fucked up right now. I want you guys to know, Father Saunders. Uh, uh, we're not we're not gonna remember this shit, but uh, we got fucking uh, uh, damn. What's your name? What's your name, son? April. April. Okay, there you go. April. April's all fucked up. We got we we got uh. This white motherfucker talking some shit. He's laughing. Fuck you. Uh, we got Father Saunders. He's going to go to sleep. Fuck you. Uh, he has no idea what's going on. What the fuck are we doing? Find out fucking next time on Dragon Ball Z. <laughs> Eat a fucking dick. But he pronounces it Dragon Balls because that's what he likes to do. <laughs> How do you guys, how do you guys uh, laugh at it? How do you guys laugh at that? You guys know. <laughs> Everybody knows. <laughs> Find out next time on fucking Dragon Ball Z. <laughs> Find out next time on Dragon Balls. Dragon Ball Z. I will never stop that shit. I will never stop that shit. Dragon Ball Z. Find out next time on fucking. Uh, <laughs> uh, Hold on, hold on, I got you guys. Find out next time on chat because they fucking <laughs> look at balls -y. There you go. Uh, uh, Do you say chat likes balls? Chat Wait, likes balls -y. Chat doesn't like balls. Chat likes to balls -y. Is that okay with you? Stop. Sure. Okay. <clears throat> God He's damn. munching carpet again. Are you in the floor? Yeah. On He's the munching, munching carpet. Yeah. How you guys doing? <laughs> Why are you on the floor? Damn it. Uh, 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 Riggs, uh, I'm here. Hold on. Hold on. Watch me. I'll get back up. The lower altitude you're at, the more oxygen you get. He's actually the smartest one here. What do you guys want? What do you guys want from me? <laughs> I mean, Riggs, outlaw. What do you want from me? Jerry Seinfeld is pretty smart right now. Okay, yeah, uh, outlaw. Um, <laughs> did, did I disappoint you guys? Uh, I am up right now. What do you guys want from me? I'm sorry, what? Outlaw, what do you want from me? I'm up right now. What do you want from me? I have no idea, man. Um, I think you gave us plenty. I'm up right now. You guys are like, uh, Father Saunders, fuck you. Uh, this, that, and the other. Uh, I'm up right now, Chad. Uh, what do you want from me? <laughs> mm, 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 mm. That's not funny, Awa. That's not funny. I'm going to punch you in your fart box. I'm going to punch you. Riggs. Riggs says Flanders needs life alert sponsored by Saunders. Eve, <laughs> <laughs> for that not so fresh feeling. 
Help, he's falling and he can't get up. <laughs> All right, you guys, uh, you guys have uh, crossed the line. Uh, we don't, then Briggs, I can't do this shit straight. You guys have crossed the fucking line. How dare you? I'm laughing. I can't, I can't fucking do this shit straight. He's fallen and he can't get up. I did fall. I am going to get up. Here's what we're going to do. Uh, give me a second because I'm going to get up. <laughs> oh. Oh, penis. Here we go. Here we go. Right, hold on. Oh, you guys are fucking terrible. Who the fuck is texting me? What the fuck is wrong with you? Hold on. Hold on, chat. Why are you texting me? Here we go. Hold on, chat. <laughs> Fuck you, chat. There we go. I got you. There you go. know the worst part is he never saw the chair names I put in chat. Uh, you you can oh, uh, no. eat a dick. I want you to lick the farts out of my ass. That's wow. Yeah. There we go. Wow. Yeah. I think you've been huffing your own farts a little too much. I think you uh I think you should fucking uh, look my asshole. That's what I think. <laughs> it's not funny. Why are you laughing? What the Man. fuck, man? Hard hover. Yeah, what the fuck is going on here? Eat, 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 eat my dick, chat. No. The neighbors dick. thought there was a gas leak. There was no leak at all. There was no leak. Um I want you guys to uh look at me and be like, Father Saunders. You're such a fucking manly man. I want to fucking eat your ass. I'm gonna be like, no, yeah, no, no, you can't eat my no. ass. No. <laughs> yeah, no. Saunders no. is a rainbow cell. I don't. I don't. Think so, Mr. I'll let you fucking know. You know, I'll uh, Nobody wants to eat my ass, but I'm gonna fucking. I'm gonna fucking hold you aside. Allah's like Saunders. Um, your ass just fucking smells fucking fantastic. Your ass. Uh, your ass smells fantastic. Like, uh, Allah, please don't. Uh, do not tongue my ass. Uh, uh, we have issues right here. And we're going to have to talk about this. This guy's projecting like he's in a driving movie. I'm projecting like uh, chat is like, uh, Father Saunders, uh, your ass is just fucking, mm, it fucking smells so good. Chat, don't. Okay. <laughs> Don't go there, chat. Uh, if you do, uh, I have to fucking uh, correct you. I'm going to be like, outlaw, don't fucking go there. And you're be like, chat, uh, Saunders, you're, you're fucking old and you're gay. I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. But you guys are following me. I have to fucking stop you guys. And then outlaws like there. He's like, Saunders, I'm like, you're fucking gay. Shut the fuck up. I got you. You're fucking gay. I got you. I will take care of you, but you're fucking gay. And then everybody else is, uh, <laughs> uh, outlaw, how the fuck are you doing? <laughs> oh, penis. He's pondering the meaning of life at the moment. I, I am actually, I'm actually getting kind of sleepy. So, oh, I'm, I've had a great fucking time with you guys tonight. You're getting kind of sleepy. It's only 123. I thought it was a lot later than that, brother. Nah, we went we went hard tonight. Yeah, we did go hard tonight. Uh um you guys know what it's like to uh go hard. You know, you guys have no fucking idea. You have no idea what it's like to fucking go hard. Eat a fucking dick. Eat my dick, bitch. What the fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> Shut up. It's not funny, chat. Shut up. Nobody talk. Let chat take care of it. What do you got, chat? <laughs> oh. oh, my God, it's not, man. It's not funny, Allah. Allah, you can't laugh. Uh, it, it. Allah, uh, Allah is forgiven. What does everybody else, what does everybody else think of what is, what is everybody else think about? Well, uh, Rick says that Flanders goes hard in old dudes' buttholes. 
<laughs> Got him, Riggs. <laughs> Riggs, how dare you? How dare you? Uh, <laughs> something like that, Riggs. <laughs> what am I doing? All right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's Ah, oh, it's fucking so goddamn funny. <laughs> We're laughing in your chat, Flanders. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. My chat, is my chat fucking fucking with me? Uh, Outlaw. Yeah. Is my chat fucking with me? No. No, be, be honest. No. God damn it. Is my chat fucking with me? No. Hmm? That's like a ooh woo. I can't do it. Oh what? No. Oh what? Oh woo. Don't fuck with me a ooh woo. I can't do it. Don't do it at all. That's just hilarious. Don't do it. What's a ooh woo? I chat honestly have no idea what the hell that means. Is my chat? Ooh -woo. Me? I'm gonna start saying it now. Ooh woo. <laughs> 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 Is my chat fucking with me, sir? That's funny, Steve. Oh, he got rid of it. That's I funny, though. I think it's like, ooh, ooh, I can't do it. <clears throat> ooh, ooh. I don't know if it sounds funny as shit. Of course you can. Uh, outlaw. outlaw. Yeah. yeah. Um, do, you know what, uh, do you know what it is like to sound like when you say, ooh, 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 ooh. <laughs> Have you ever fucking licked an asshole? Have you ever oh, fucking... Oh, Saunders, Saunders. Have you ever ate a butthole? <laughs> no. Okay. Here's what happens when you eat a butthole. <laughs> oh, okay. How the fuck do I know what it's like to eat a butthole? I don't know. Please elaborate. Oh, here we're we gonna, go. Oh, we're gonna we're gonna figure the shit the fuck out. Um, I can't do the shit chat. <laughs> oh, what's it like to eat a butthole, Saunders? What do you want me to say? Okay, it's shitty. Go. Here we go. Here we go. Uh, ask that question again. Ask that question again. Do it. Go ahead. I said, what's it like to eat a butthole, Saunders? Okay. What's it like to eat a butthole? Um, it's, uh, um, experiences and uh, 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 everything will vary. Does that mm -hmm. make sense? Everything will vary. <laughs> I bet it tastes like shit. <laughs> everything will vary, chat. Everything will fucking vary. Mm -hmm. Everything. Uh, you got me started now. I can't stop. Yeah. <laughs> Make that all up. Make that all up. Like, like mm -hmm. everything we're talking about is, uh, mm -hmm. like, you guys don't want to fucking experience that. But everybody that does experience it, you better have a fucking tongue that's fast as shit because you got somebody like Outlaw, like, blah, 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 blah. I'm like, uh, what are you doing? Blah, 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 blah. I'm like, oh, okay, okay. I'm like, uh, I'm Jared Saunders. Um, what the fuck are you saying? What? Okay. I'm going to spit my drink out. You spit your drink out. <laughs> <laughs> this shit's funny. A lot is fucking hilarious. I would love to piss on you guys. I whoa, 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 whoa. Hard pass. Um, um, hold on, chat. I would love to piss on you, but I can't um, get you. You guys are so fucking ahead of me. Okay, uh, we need to make the uh, Dave Chappelle remix off of that one. Okay, now you just crossed into R. Kelly territory. No, I uh, trip, trip, trip. Believe it or not, guys, I would oh, absolutely sucks. love and be uh privy to uh pissing on you. So, no, quiet. Hold on, let me, let me, ah, let me get this shit. God damn it. 
Uh, he's long... thinking about April. He's thinking about April. He's thinking uh, about I'm, April. I'm actually getting a little scared now. Yeah, you should get scared. Here's the problem. Ooh. You guys are better. <laughs> you guys are better than what about. So, Outlaw, I want you to go fucking uh, get after it. Uh, get after jump, what? Get after it. Uh, uh, everybody in the fucking uh, chat, go get after it. Get after hey, that fucking get after and what? prove Father Saunders. Prove Father Saunders wrong. Prove fucking uh, uh, Outlaw wrong. Prove that it's wrong that I piss on Outlaw. Prove it's what? wrong. No. 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 Well, you don't have to prove a negative. No, no don't. Sorry, okay, no. okay. I'm sorry, sorry Outlaw. Sorry. Don't prove that I'm pissing on Outlaw. Uh, no, outlaw. no. Uh, Saunders, no. Bad Saunders. <laughs> bad Saunders. Yeah, bad Saunders, no. Go pee in the fire hydrant, not on yeah. Outlaw. Yeah, we we don't piss on that wall. No, terrible saunas. We don't. You don't, we don't piss on your friends. You piss on the fire hydrant. Yeah, you don't. We you don't, don't piss on me. We don't piss on that wall. We don't piss right. on that wall, guys. Yeah. Flanders is a furry confirmed. Uh, Flanders, <laughs> Flanders is whatever the fuck Flanders is. Uh, don't piss on <laughs> Outlaw is exempt from being pissed on. So uh, thank God. Some... Yeah, I mean, why would you do that? That's just no. Well, it was no. it was an option. It was an option. No, it, no, it, <laughs> it was no, never no. on the table. No, like no. God damn it, outlaw! It was a fucking option. No, it, bad this Saunders. Game was bad the best Saunders. option, but it was an option. No, no, bad Saunders. Okay, okay. Uh, it was an option, sir. No, it was not the best option, but it was an option. No. Yeah. Yes. No. Did he get stung by a jellyfish? Why are you talking even about then, even then you're not peeing on me? <laughs> what the fuck is a jellyfish? I'm trying to protect uh outlaw here, and you're talking about a jellyfish. What the fuck does that have to do with I'm anything? a little nervous, not gonna lie. <laughs> what I don't know where I don't know. Outlaw. I, I don't know, brother. Outlaw, if you create on my arm, I, I I will guide you to your uh, destination, brother. I will make sure that nobody fucks with you. If anybody uh, fucks with uh, uh, Sean, I will put my fucking butthole in your fucking face. Nobody wants that. Shout nobody out to anybody wants... watching this in the replay tomorrow, by the way. Nobody wants that. Nobody wants Saunders' butthole in their face. Nobody wants that. I am. I am Who's just wants it? right now. Nobody wants that. Nobody wants uh, Sean St. George. Nobody wants uh, Miktaala. Nobody wants Father Saunders' butthole in your face. Nobody wants that. That's what's going to happen if you fuck with me. <laughs> Shout out to Hemi Four Speed, Steve Riggs. You guys are you guys are the St. Louis Arch. You guys are the MVPs in this one. You guys are hanging in, keeping this thing going. We're just getting pissed on over here, apparently. Uh, I I um, Seraphim. I do not, I do not like where this is going. Allah, <laughs> you were doing fucking fantastic, brother. I'm going to uh, play with myself and uh, Jack. No, I think I'd rather get pissed off than get pissed on. I, 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 I no, you don't have to do that. No. Well, what else am I supposed to do, my white brother? Okay, we're not okay. Everybody hates the white man, brother. We're trying to fucking struggle to stay for, uh, stay survived. <laughs> we're trying to fucking stay survived. We're trying to stay survived. I know it doesn't make any sense. Staying alive. Staying alive. Um, I would say we go to sleep. Out long. Staying alive. Staying alive. A lot. We're trying to fucking uh, be alive. I I am going to go to sleep. I want you to know that I'm with you, brother. And uh, uh, this country, this world, they don't like the white man. We're fucked. <laughs> Pretty much. Can confirm. Ding, 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 We're ding, fucked. Ding. We're fucked. Whitey motherfuckers. I'm just oh, glad he's too drunk to remember my name. And I'm not oh, telling him. Oh, Father Saunders. Blah blah blah. I'm 10 years fucking older than you. What the fuck do you want from me? We're fucked. 
We're fucked. You guys want to fucking lick my butthole? Nobody wants to do that. No. I don't want to do that. Nobody wants to fucking lick Father Saunders' butthole. Nobody. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody wants to do that shit. Myself included. Nobody wants that. <laughs> Goddamn wow. that one. Nobody wants that. Wow. Nobody wants to uh, finger lick, finger lick, finger licking good. Finger licking good. What the fuck is this is a KFC. No, nobody. <laughs> nobody wants a Saunders KFC bucket. Nobody oh, I will never get a Saunders KFC bucket. It's I'll, I'll go with Colonel Sanders, not Colonel Saunders. <laughs> nobody. Wants, nobody wants to fucking finger or. Uh, 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 finger. Nobody wants to fucking flinger, flinger, flinger uh, flounder. Uh, nobody wants to talk or fucking, uh, you know, do this shit that I'm doing here right now. Nobody wants that. Nobody wants that. What's Are the difference between that? Sanders and Saunders? And there's an extra uwu in it. Uwu. Uwu. Who the fuck wants that? Uwu. Who the fuck wants that? Uh, uh, uwu. Fuck wants that sh ah. Nobody wants that. God damn it. Um, when he asks if you want a breast and a thigh, make sure to say no. Woo. Fucking woo. That's <laughs> just so funny. Woo. Fucking woo. Outlaw? No. I have no fucking idea how to respond to that, brother. I don't either, brother. <laughs> Why, why, why are you laughing? Why are you laughing? <laughs> At this point, I gotta either laugh or cry. <laughs> Eat my fucking ass! I want you to look the farts out of my ass. That's no, what I want. no. I want. You I don't to think you can lick farts. I no. want you to tickle my asshole. That's what I want you guys. To do. <laughs> don't do that, chat. I want you to fucking tickle my asshole, but don't do that. <laughs> St. Louis I, I, Art I, says carry on I Carry on to... I want you guys to fucking lick my asshole What do you want from me? No, I just want you to carry on Carry on my way with song <sighs> when you, you guys know what it's like to uh, tongue fuck a fucking fart box you you know have Don't you guys, you guys ever looked at yourself and had a tongue and outlaw? Shut up! It's fucking hilarious. Don't do it. <laughs> you guys know what it's like to finger a bottle. You guys know what it's like to uh, tongue. A I bottle? actually do that. That is one uh, thing I do know. No homo, obviously. I don't. I'm asking you guys. Have you guys ever fucking fingered, fuck a butthole? Have you guys ever fucking licked a butthole? Uh, we got. Two, I got two out of three. Okay, we got. We got to figure this shit out, chat. Have you ever fucking fucked a butthole? <laughs> no homo. You guys ever fingered a butthole? Have you guys ever licked a butthole? Like, this is what I got to deal with, guys. Uh, if you I do, I suggest wearing medical gloves. It's much cleaner. Oh, Jesus Christ almighty. You know what? It is 1.30. I think I'm fixing to call it. Yeah, I'm not. Yeah, I, mean, I was about to say I'm not far behind you, but let's. I'm not going to use that lower wording for this stream. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Not a lot. I appreciate you guys. Um I'm going to go ahead and call it, too. Uh, Alba? Yeah, go ahead, brother. Nope, I appreciate you. I'm going to go ahead and uh, call it a night, guys. I'm going to fucking stop the stream. Alba, you guys do your thing. Everybody, do your fucking thing. I want you guys to fantasize about me nothing all over the fucking... All over no. You. Nah. No. Well, Saunders, Outlaw, it's been fun. And, man, if you get in chat... Thanks for hanging with us. If you guys watch this in the replay, what the hell's wrong with you? If you watch this on the replay, uh, if you watch this on the replay, uh, there's a lot of fucking questionable shit that you guys need to fucking uh, uh, pray about tomorrow. <laughs> if you've reached this point in the stream, what the fuck's wrong with you? 
Stop. Get Saunders? help. Saunders what is gay. You know that? I'm out, guys. <laughs> See ya. See you later, Take guys. it easy. Take it easy, brother. I'm going to end the stream. I want you guys to finger my butthole. No. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you, chat. It's fucking terrible. Don't fucking touch my butthole. We're going to end this fucking stream. And uh, we'll talk to you guys at a later time. <laughs> fucking fucking do it. Yeah, yeah. We're going to end the fucking stream. End it.